Do you remember when Anna Kasparian posted that she didn't want to be referred to as a birthing person? What work she, was she called over and yeah, over and care, over on? Yeah, that she wants that she doesn't like. like no one's no one's real, no one's calling like um no no one's doing okay. that as like a group. Like, it's it. You can be not nice to me. It's okay. Hurt people hurt people, right? Fake. Okay, cool. You guys are yes, it's fake. Are you saying it's fake? No, no, hold on. I'm hold saying on. Said, I'm saying LGBTQ people grooming children is fake. Yeah, like it's no more prevalent in that community than any other community. Yeah. What about what, what the can you, you stop no. yelling over me? What is wrong no. with you? No, Let no, me then talk. Just, then don't just say it's code. Yes, you didn't I address can anything say I said. Whatever you the just said it was. I want, actually. This way, I understand that a woman's tits can be perceived as something sexual. But I am saying that that has nothing to do with what they are. Now, what a drag queen is, and I'm not saying a drag queen is inherently sexual. I'm saying drag is a sexual performance. Do you think strippers don't talk to children? What? Can you answer my question instead of just Yes. Talking? See, here's the thing. Not I'm not interested. I'm not interested like you in policing whether a woman is wearing a push-up bra because she's no, trying to perform interested. or if she's just interested. doing I'm that because she just exists. No. I have. I'm trying to respond, but you're yelling at me that what you're saying is important, so I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Well, it was. So, actually, Katie, what did I just say? Can you tell me that first before you respond? No. <laughs> Uh, figures. Wait, what is that? What is the cackle? What is, do you have something to say? Do Why you is that funny? hear something? I hear something. Uh, okay, I don't again. know what it is. Is, is she just? Uh, she's just gonna ignore me when I when I talk? Because I'm I in the call know. as well. I don't think it's, it's acceptable. It's like a to just buzzing sound. It's really weird. Like it gives them the false impression that these things are solved. In a way. So when all the floodgates come back in, you're like, how the hell did we reach this point? Like, what did we do? Well, maybe you took people's voices away instead of educating them. And instead of you knowing that this is the reality of what happens, you can't shield people from the, from the horrors of the world. You can't be like, oh my God, you can't look at that. People well, need to be aware that fucked up shit happens, but you can do better and you can, you can, you can decide what happens in, to you by your actions, but you can't be like, oh, la, 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 nothing's happening because that creates this kind of backlash where now our rights are kind of being taken away because they were always so evil, but we kind of didn't notice because we were chill. We were good. The people who were in control were other people and they were silencing them and they were so insidious about it. They weren't insidious about it. It's terms of service. Yeah, but it kind of does suck when you have an opinion that might be, that might be well-intentioned. You actually might be asking like, well-intended questions, but no one's going to take them th that way. You know full well I'm gay. I don't give a shit when people ask me weird-ass questions. And when someone calls me a F, I laugh my fucking ass off. You don't know what's going to trigger a person, true. But it's like, wow, you guys still exist? That's cool, and that's funny, and that's pathetic. I know who I am, and I'm proud in who I am. I'm not going to yeah, let but... someone else cut me down. Lou doesn't like it, the reason that it's starting to go away more is because we stigmatize that sort of behavior and that's a lot of what cancel culture is is stigmatizing people saying the f slur or being sexist or being homophobic or any of these other things like stigmatizing the behavior means that people are going to call it out and uh, tell people when it's a problem and that makes it less and yeah. less common so like racism all of these different types of uh, of ways of engaging with these groups in a negative way, like we've stigmatized all these things to where it has become yeah, less and less common. And it seems like you're taking issue with the stigmatizing the behavior. I do have an issue with it. Once you fought all the people who were so evil, you start looking for the other ones who are more insidious about it. You start thinking about the washes who say things like and but that's not necessarily that. true. <laughs> I'm going to call out racism, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to run run around and start calling people like Destiny and Vosh racist. Like, I, not you, you know, can, but yes, but, that does not happen. 
yeah no but that that's the thing is like you're making a like a slippery slope argument as though that's the obvious conclusion where i like i generally argue against just like the parts that are going too far but everything else isn't like that it seems like you're mentioning a lot of things that aren't really going too far like banning a bunch of like groipers off of twitter that's not going too far but um Mm -hmm. but then like banning somebody for saying for for like putting up a meme that's a little edgy like yeah maybe that's going a little too far or um and maybe some, sometimes it's well intentioned or maybe sometimes there are they are being an asshole but you need to be able to say like that's not going to hurt me because i know my worth it does suck to be constantly reminded that you're worthless it sucks it breaks you it it, it creates this super fucking horrible existential dread where you're like i don't feel worthless why do people continuously say that i'm worthless that does suck doesn't it yeah but you know that's not well, the well, case for yeah, everybody but, like everybody can't just like do that yeah not only that but like the fact that, mo- that a lot of people can't just do that or, or aren't like don't aren't going to do that like just for just to use twitter like th- this kind of makes it uh, uh like a market issue right like you're, you're gonna like if you're if you want to have if you want to foster twitter to be a place where a lot of people want to come in and be on twitter and there's a lot of gay people mm-hmm. and a lot of those gay people are not co- going to come to twitter because they're being called the f slur or a lot of black people aren't going to want to be on twitter because they're being called the n-word all the time that you're then you start to limit like you you're you're, you're limiting your audience by not um by not taking I action against agree. this kind of stuff i completely yeah. agree i completely agree so why do we allow cracker because it, Why do it we doesn't seem to stop white people from engaging on the platform. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that. But it is affecting people that maybe do feel a little bit hurt. Like, we're, we're not part, like, we're, we have good intentions. What about male monkey? What about this? What about that? What about blaming them? It's their fault. It eventually breaks you because when you get blamed over and over and over and shamed over and over and over, it breaks you. And it applies to every single type of human. You can't be saying, like, the systems are set up this way, so it doesn't matter because there's not going to be an eventual harm down the road. Or if it, there is going to be, I don't give a shit because I'm going to be dead by then, Hassan To be clear, I, to be clear you're, 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 I mean, if you're talking, like, you're talking to me right now, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that there's Hassan no... Piker. What? what? I said Hassan Piker. Okay, okay, well, yeah, okay, I don't know. Okay. I mean, like, first, well, I, I okay what i'm getting at with, with what i what i was about to say is that like uh, well first of all like tom said like the the word cracker doesn't seem to be like stri- like driving white people away from twitter.com right um right. like that doesn't seem to be a problem and there's there's probably reasons that it, it rings different right i think we all like all of the systemic reasons that, like saying, things like the, the f slur are so hold on, hold on. Okay. i'm not saying that they're equal but don't didn't we just say that it's not about oppression olympics if we if you tell us that it's not okay to Wait, call it's that not about we, olympics doesn't mean you can't compare two things at all and, like well, well, well fuck sake and we're asking please don't call us that because you educated us about how a word can have a meaning because you're denigrating us on the base of our immutable characteristics so please if you are asking us to stop doing that can you please go ahead and respect us the, the same way since it's not a slur correct since it's not a slur but if, if heterosexual people don't like to be called cis and they take it as an insult because you're you're theorizing me. Holy shit, we're actually in the same fucking problem. Oh, I don't really believe that people think that this is a slur. And it does if it's loaded, anything can be a slur, right? Well, I do. I I, be- I believe that a lot of people probably probably do actually think that this is a slur. But I, I think it it's kind of a, it's a naive position. But I think like a lot of people do sincerely believe it. So so. Well, Karen is a slur, right? What? Karen is a slur. Um, we, we, we've had this argument a few times, Lou, where like, I, like, I, there's a lot of things that I, I, w- I might agree that are technically can qualify as slurs, but like, I think that what this suggests rather is that like the word, like when, when usually when we're talking about slurs, we're, 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 we're mostly talking about like things that have a, a lot more, uh, weight to them than, than things like Karen and Cracker and, Karen uh, doesn't have weight. what? Karen not, not anywhere near like like uh like if you if if someone were to um uh and like this this is kind of, this feels kind of racist to say like if somebody uh were to say like 
were to try to like describe a black Karen as like a Laquisha or something like that, like that's uh-huh. going to, that's going to hit different, right? Yeah. But the, it seems Why? a little weird that it always hits different when it's a different race. When, like, I think it yeah, sounds well, like you're literally point. saying like, no, I don't think that is the point. I think that that's like, okay. it's just, uh, so I think his issue is that it sounds like you're saying that you just have a bias to where any time it's some sort of issue that's going against like white people or, um, or some sort of group that you don't consider to be as marginalized, then it just hits different and now it's not a problem. And he's saying like, yeah, it doesn't have to, to be that saying, in I'm order for it to be a problem. a problem. I'm saying it's, it's a very different kind of problem, I guess I would say. What kind of problem is it now? Um, I, well, it's, I don't think it's a problem that is like pushing people, like pushing people out of spaces or reinforcing what? like systemic structures that actually oppress people. Like, I don't think it does those things. Do you remember when Anna Kasparian posted that she didn't want to be referred to as a birthing person? What was she, was she called over and yeah, over and care, over on the that she wants that she doesn't like, like no one's no one's real, no one's calling like um no no one's doing okay. that as like a group. Like, it's 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 I like it's like noticed. medical ter- it was a medical terminology noticed. or something. I do not could... know if you notice that this is a woman speaking out about something she does not enjoy. And you just said you don't give a shit because she needs to sit there and take it. Because other people have more value than her, than her opinion. Well, okay, well, that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, like, who who's actually calling her a birthing person? Who's actually referring to her as a birthing? I feel like when people say birthing person, all they're talking about is people who give birth. They're just saying that. They're just saying that there are people who give birth. They're not like 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 like. Like, which is just a specific thing like and some of those people most of those people are women and some of those people are not women so i don't know why this is such a like a, a horrifying concept so, so is lesbian a non-man who's attracted to non-men um generally but there are like like there are like that's it's you know like sexuality is also like pretty nuanced and I, I don't know like there are like there's like he him lesbians and stuff like that's always been a thing like i don't know it's complicated so basically, the term woman doesn't actually even matter anymore, right? <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean... It's just it's, 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 with birthing person. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't mean it doesn't fucking matter. No, no one should ever be called a woman. Like, obviously, if, you, I, I, I if people want to be a woman, they should be. I said lesbian. When, she's, when I said lesbians are described okay. as non-men who are attracted to non-men, it seems to me, at least thinking about it, that you are actually falling into this full, you're coming full circle back into misogyny where you're erasing the term and defining your gender against the other. Like, we're not that. I'm instead wait, of saying, how, like, who, how am I erasing problem, anybody? I don't follow. When you say non man, you're defining your gender in through the other person, not wait, defining so, your so, gender. So again, when, I, when I say not a man, what when, I missed when, what the, when they use the term non man. It technically does erase women because you're defining your gender as something that that that's the other one. Like I'm the I'm I'm different from that. Yeah, he's so saying like you're, like you're making like, man the default, and then everything is yeah, categorized based on its relation to the default instead of it having its own categorization in based on its own characteristics it's uh it's still based on the other's characteristics so like a woman is or or a lesbian is one who is attracted to people who are not men well instead of it being they're attracted to women a woman attracted to women it's you know one who is not a man it's continuously being based off of what a man is instead of having its own category well i i think so th- I, I guess uh, it does kind of sound like this could this could apply like what you what you guys are describing there then could uh, could also apply to like people of color right um, so maybe there's a, a broader conversation there but I will say real quick about the like the lesbian like the sexuality thing I think when people say they're a lesbian or they say they're gay or whatever like they're like usually they're, it's it's like a label that people choose to like signal what what like types of people they're attracted to like what genders they're attracted to based on their uh, on their gender, right? Like that's general. It's so it, like, and there's a lot of like fluidity there, and it, it's it, okay. it's not it's not like a it's not okay. that rigid. Okay, you know? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So what is a lesbian then? <laughs> this is, if you ask me what is a woman, I'm going to tell you anyone who identifies as a woman. Tell you what, it's the same thing for a lesbian. It can't be a circular definition, and you and you just said it's, we it's use exactly these words. Circular. Hold on, can I explain? Hold on, because... hold on, hold on. You just said it yourself. We okay. use these words to signal what we're interested in. That's perfect. 
So if a person says, I'm a lesbian, they're signaling what exactly? Generally, they're saying that I'm a woman who's attracted to women, but not exclusively. They're not exclusively saying that. So is it, is it not exclusively saying that? Does that mean that the term isn't working as its intended purpose? Uh, I, well, I, I think that like we're running into a problem where like these words have historically been more rigid than they're being uh, than they I mean, it, it, honestly, they've always been more complicated than than those rigid uh, restrictions are. And we're kind of like seeing that manifest more. Um, so what if you call them cis lesbian and trans lesbians? I mean, you can do that. I, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what the what the point of this line of reasoning is. Yeah. The, the fact is that the words have meaning. You're defi You're becoming circular. And hey, we were being super progressive, and we were making such great great strides by having our own identity. And then we're like circling back into defining our, our identity against the other person's gender. Like we're not that. We're not that. You keep otherizing yourself into a different category because you're not willing to engage with the fact that we are all equal and we are all different and we all have those different characteristics and we have to celebrate them, not otherize them. Um, it's great to be a man. It's cool to be a man. It's okay to be white. But if I say that, holy shit, I am now dog whistling. Dude, oh, you know what? Well, let's, 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 hold on, if we're hold gonna... on, hold on. Hang hold on. on. Okay. I know that okay. I know that people have historically used it that way. I know. And they usually use it in the context of diminishing another person's movement. Yeah, I get that. No, just, just, no, 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 uh, no, just to be clear, that we, when we when we talk about dog whistles, like the whole point of a dog whistle is that like it, it usually to most people, it doesn't come off as a dog whistle. That's like the whole point of what a dog whistle is. So like exactly. uh, is it can be exactly. used subversively, exactly. right? Exactly. Right. Perfect. That's a good explanation. Perfect. If yeah. you're looking for a microaggression. You're going to find it anywhere. Well, you're well, I don't think, I, I think, I think when people anywhere. talk about, um, well, I, like, like, like when we talk about microaggressions, like people are generally talking about like just, uh, just little things that people say that like assert or that like demon or that like come off as, as biased against the person who they're interacting with. And the, the reason these things are a problem is because it's like it, they, they happen over like, they build up over time, like there are things that happen a lot. And so we kind of like start to rec like people start to recognize them and they start to be like, oh, well, it's interesting that whenever I'm in this, this scenario, people interact with me like this, or they say these kinds of things to me. And, and like, it's, it's so common that like, I, I think this is a, this is a like signaling a, a deeper problem. And that's just generally like the, uh, the underlying thing behind microaggression. So I don't think it's just like, I if you're looking for, you're going to find them. Like, I think it's, it's, it's like people become aware of them because they happen to them. Have you ever considered that you just might be a bitch? Well, I mean, you can say that, but like, I, that's just a cope. Like, you're you're not saying anything. Like, who cares if you think that those people are bitches? Like, I I don't I don't. No, no, no. I'm saying that if you're finding microaggressions, like they're always slighting me, it must be due to my race. No, maybe you're just a bitch. Well, and I'm saying uh, for so, everyone. Hold on, but the, does that mean that microaggressions don't exist at all? Then, because I thought we covered this earlier to say that they do exist microaggressions can be everywhere if you're looking for them if you yes but that's not the question you won't you down. are that's you saying that they that. just because the yeah. question is do they exist and are they actually an issue you just saying that you're going to find them is a meaningless statement do they exist and uh and are they a problem do they exist of course are they a problem only if you let them be if it's really not like constant to the point where it's affecting you mentally and emotionally and this and that well maybe it's not a microaggression it's an actual aggression yeah but i think that coder's issue is that he's talking about the fact that like when this sort of language becomes pervasive and people are using microaggressions consistently that it starts to attribute to systemic issues instead and now it's okay, actually correct. like okay. making a society look at a group of people differently based on the sorts of rhetoric we use to address them Exactly. Perfect. So when Anna Kasparian said, I don't want to be referred to as a birthing person, everyone online started calling her a Karen, Karen, this, Karen, that, Karen, this. And she was, didn't like it. She was like, I'm not being a Karen. I'm not being one of those people. I'm one of the good ones. Sure. So she makes a segment where the person from um, Apple, I think it was, were like, hey, guys, probably don't use Karen in, in the workplace because it's, a start, it's starting to affect us. How dare you minimize the struggle of other people by bringing up Karen is a slur. It's like, dude, do you realize how fucked up it is? So if you're looking for a microaggression, maybe there's mi microaggression, micro. Karen is not a microaggression. 
right? Could be. A micro? I mean, I guess, I guess not. I guess it's more, it's more, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can, like, I can imagine, um, uh, like somebody, even somebody who might use the word Karen to refer to like a specific type of, uh, person in, in certain social situations, they might find themselves like feeling uncomfortable when they, when they hear it, um, like, uh, they hear it used in cer- in a lot of contexts uh, that might like, uh, I don't know. I, I can see it like starting to take take a take a different kind of um, framing depending on who's using it, and what what situations they're describing, um, and like okay. lumping in people. So certain saying, people yeah. So you're saying that intent matters? Um, not exactly. No, that's not. That's actually not what I was saying there. I'm I'm I'm, not, I'm talking Very about um, I'm talking about the way like I, when I say the way people use it, I don't mean the way they're thinking about using it. I mean the way they're using it, like in in the, like how other people are hearing it. So it's the opposite of their intent, right? That didn't make sense, what you just said. Well, I'm, I'm saying like the way people might hear it, the way people might interpret it, rather than the way people are intending it, is what I'm talking about. Okay. So intent doesn't matter. No, I didn't say that, though. I'm saying I'm, what, I'm, what I was talking about in that moment was not about intent. But intent still does matter. It's not how people would take it. Okay, so if people are saying, I don't like this slur because it's basically lumping all, you know, buzz cut pixie cut white women who are entitled and shit and it makes us feel bad because we don't think we're being entitled we don't care because you are being entitled so it's does intent matter or it doesn't how how are the people who are receiving the slur taking it anna kasparian does not like that word anymore apparently after people started calling her that sure. why do you think because people aren't aware of what they're doing until it happens to them. And wokeism is so focused on looking outward that you don't look that you look at on other people's actions that you're judging everyone without looking at your own actions and how you contribute to them. Um I don't I'm I'm not I mean, I understand what you're saying, how like um the the Karen thing, or I think I understand what you're saying about the Karen like the word Karen being applied to um uh, I'm sorry, I'm playing on her name. You just said it, but I'm <laughs> um, yeah, Anna Kasparian, and how she like. So you're saying that like she was one of the people who probably would use uh, a lot of woke language, but then like when Did when you, she sees it targeted at her, Karen, this Karen, this Karen, that Karen, this white Karen, she used it a ton of times, and she actually, I will give her credit, she did recognize it doesn't feel that good. I think we, it's it's becoming a problem now. It's becoming a problem now when it was directed at you. Nice one. You couldn't have enough empathy to recognize that you were creating a system where it was acceptable to do that. Um, I, I, I guess I can, I can see that, but I, I don't know what, what, what to take from it. Like, I, I don't. Um, I mean, you're using you somebody's all, immutable characteristics to dismiss them. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to call that a microaggression when you're actually taking like somebody's, uh. It, like their race and their and their gender and then using to be that clear, to dismiss when I, when I what could, they're saying sorry when, when i said it could be like it could when i was saying it could manifest as a microaggression i i'm talking about like a, a like i'm going like a, a a level deeper um to like the way that people might start to or like because a lot of people use karen in a lot of different ways and that like people might start to see certain patterns emerging where they're like wait a minute i i don't like the way that they're that these people like that i i'm starting to hear this in a way where it's it's like targeting um like a a very different kind of thing or including a, like I, I don't i don't know that it's um i'm I, I was just kind of exploring that i'm not i'm not like taking a hard stance on it being a microaggression i'm not i'm not even saying that it is i'm just saying there could be microaggressions that can can kind of be downward uh downstream of of like karen manifesting in certain ways but that's a it's yeah i was just kind of uh thinking out loud there okay I think that we're kind of good. It depends on you guys, but basically, just to, to cut off, um, I don't like wokeism because wokeism is just an excuse to enact racism on other people. By the idea that for some reason we've taught you how to do this, now we're going to ask you to take all those teachings, put them to the side, and just be uh, an ideologue about it. Sorry, dogmatic about it. Like mm, that's ableist. That's this. That's that. That's that. Why is it that? Oh, you know why? Because I know, but you have to know. Like, maybe no one really understands what they're doing, and they're just hurting each other because everyone, hurt people, hurt people, which is such a gay way of closing this up. 
Okay, um, right, Katie so I guess my... wanted to know if she could jump in. Um, oh my god, I'm not gonna be nice towards Katie, but go ahead. Can I get, real quick, can I can I give yeah, a, a, go just a response to that? A... I guess um, for me, I would say that like part of the problem with what you're or like the problem you're describing, I, I kind of agree that it exists. Um, but like for me, I'm I'm suggesting that like the the foundation of, of like just teaching this this blanket like uh, like liberal colorblindness, um, the idea that like uh, nobody like, like there, there's all this uh, that everyone's equal, which like we should be is the, is the goal. Like the, instead of like preaching this as a goal, we've preached this as like a a, a, a status quo that already exists. And this is a, a shaky foundation um, when people start to actually engage with like the material impacts of all of these problems. And that like we've basically like like destroyed the foundation we need to actually talk about this shit more meaningfully. Um, so I, I, I yeah, that's, that's my issue yes, at the end of the day. I do have like, I've had a little retort to that. Just one small one. I don't think that we ever really declared that we were finally equal. I think that was always the point that that's the goal. I don't I like the colorblindness was the goal, but it wasn't achieved. It was like let's get there. When people started using neg is using it negatively, of course they're using it in a ironic way or in like you can't judge me. I don't see color, so intent does matter because I I've never used like I don't see color as a oh I don't I don't care about your struggles. I'm saying like hey if I if I overstep my boundaries or if I like took it too far, I, maybe I don't know your history, but I don't. I don't know your history. And, the, and that's the moment where you're like, hey, I can educate you about it. Instead of taking it aggressively, I can be like, hey, it's because we're tired. We're all tired, man. But we can't stop putting effort in. We can't force anyone to do something that they don't want. Anyway. Okay. Katie? What's up, Katie? You can be not nice to me. It's okay. Hurt people hurt people, right? Ooh. Not hurt by you, Katie. I told you specifically, if you ever wanted to jump into a call, I could give you really, really good faith arguments as to why like, you have so such great potential, but you're falling into the behavior that I'm basically describing right now. Yeah, you ramble a lot about things that you're upset about without any coherent thread. Did you, I missed the beginning. Did you, do you know what wokeism is? Because you seem to be upset about it. Here to question me? Do you have any idea? Did you not hear the whole thing? You just said you didn't. So I don't know if you think that this is some sort of gotcha. Well, well, to, be, to, be fair, to, to be fair, we didn't, we didn't, Lou, we like we didn't come in, we didn't like establish like what is wokeism at the beginning of this or anything. We we were kind of uh, we kind of just dove already right said it. progressive racism. What? I already said progressive racism. Oh, okay. That's that's all of wokeism is progressive racism. Wokeism is progressive no. race. Generally, people the use wokeism to yeah. say it's when, like, uh, leftist uh, Tom, or progressive ideology I want to hear from far, them. But... You want to hear from me? What do you want to yes. hear, Katie? She wants well, to know what you wokeism think wokeism is so that you can, she can understand what it is you're arguing okay. against. Wokeism is, in its foundation or in its structure, the idea that we should be able to look at all the people's different issues, different problems, and actually elevate them so we can all be, well, not equal, but because it's a, a quality of outcome. And that's the idea behind wokeism. The result that we're doing, because people don't really understand it prof profoundly, is that we're taking people that are up and pushing them down in order to prop other people back up. And that's the part where it's, it's messed up. You don't need okay. to put anyone down in order to lift other people up. So I, I have a question. I, I think I know what you'll say, but I, I need to know your position on it so I can move on. So like, oh. I felt like a lot of the, the ideas that progressives people talk about and why it seems like we're trying to tear people down and stuff like that is because we are working off the foundation that those people are more up than the people who are down because they took, because they exploit or because they had advantages given to them, even if they're not like evil. And by equalizing it, it means that like, you know, the meme of like, um, for the privileged, like equality feels like oppression. Let me interrupt, that you, for a second. Let me interrupt yeah. you for a second. In what way did they take? How did they take that stuff? How did they stole, steal soul from get, from get to get there, to get up there? How did they do it? 
Well, we're talking historically, right? We're not. Oh, I, I, so we have to judge everything from the back and we have to tear people down from something that they could not control in the least in order because they're evil. They stole it. So we have to take it back. Instead okay, are you sure are you up. sure you can make good faith arguments and engaging with what I'm saying or are you just going to straw man everything that I'm saying? I'm not straw manning anything because you literally just said history. I literally You're just said just... they don't have to be evil. I will finish my point. Oh, now. okay, they so... don't have to be evil. Already said. They don't have to be evil. You're focusing on things that they didn't do. So there's something that that it's perceived something that they can't control. You're judging them based on that. Uh, well, part of what she said, she, she, I'm not mentioned... judging them. I'm saying that people have privilege and things that were bestowed upon them from ad historical advantages, stuff that were taken away from other people and then given and it historically transferred. And there are still outcomes to that. And oh, you do it. What? what? Did they do it? Were they, were they the people who did it? I'm so confused. What does that have to do with my point? So you have to look at the history. How far back in history do we have to go to actually understand, like, who are the people that took the stuff and actually are higher the haves and the have not? Not very far back. Oh. Well, why don't you go farther back? Because okay, I, I think... I'm the product of a, of a genocide. Like, I am. I'm the product of a genocide. If a genocide hadn't happened here, I wouldn't be here. Trucks. And, you know, trying to make the world a better place should be something that I strive to. But if I tell you, hey, what you're doing right there, that's basically, in a way, making fun of us because you don't understand our culture. And you say, like... Oh, the people of Latin America aren't even the true Spanish speakers because that was a language imposed by the conquistadors. Okay, can I just try to build some bridges, hopefully? Okay. Right. Um, so it sounds like you think that I, I'm talking about like a systemic issues, right? And I, it sounds like from your perspective, you're saying, well, the the white people that you're trying to take away from right now, they oh, haven't done these. Away. I said push down. What? I said push down in order to prop other up. I said take it away. Okay, P push down. The the what? white people that you're trying to push down, they didn't do these things. Um, <laughs> so like you're like wokeism is trying to like punish them for something they didn't do. It sounds like that's the vibe that you're feeling. It sounds like that's what you're saying, not the vibe that I'm feeling. What? It sounds like that's what you're saying, not what I'm feeling. I don't know. I'm asking how yeah, I think you're she's feeling. trying to understand mm -hmm. your your position. Is can you can and, you like explain like what the difference is between that and what you're on, saying? Hold on. Hold on. You said okay, you specifically said we're taking away from the people who took it from them. Actually, that was the other way around. We're like, yeah, we're basically, they stole it from other people. Did they steal it from other people? Well, if you analyze historically, so you're taking away, instead of propping people up, like the people that were less fortunate, we're going to prop them up. You're taking away from the other people because of a perceived something okay. that their ancestors did. Okay, let's let's try something concrete because this isn't working. So, for example, if we're talking about affirmative action, there is a historical context in which white people generally are doing better economically because of historical exploitation of black people, partially. And that means they get better education over generations and generations, which means they'll have a harder, easier time to get into university and get the best spots. So affirmative action is there to make sure that other types of marginalized groups can, for example, still enjoy the benefits, even though there's a historical advantage for white people, right? Do we agree okay. on that? If you had been here for the beginning of the conversation, you would have heard that yes. Okay, good. So how, so do you feel like affirmative action is pushing people down? Can I not just say that? No. And I just say that we talked about it. It's not about that. 
It's not about taking away from other people. It's about propping up people, other people up. And you might say like, but affirmative action actually, you know, takes away the, the position from a person that's already there. So why don't you make a bigger fucking classroom? And I'm not saying fill it with the other people. No, make groups that are combined. That's perfect. Why do you, why, why are there limited slots instead of adding more slots? I would okay, like to know. So you, so you feel like it's a punishment for the white people who were meant to go in right? Just make a bigger classroom instead of use affirmative action to make sure that in every classroom, you also get representation of marginalized people. It's, wouldn't that be lifting the other people up without taking away from the other people? What is so wrong from taking away from the other people? What is so right about taking away from other people? Well, Lou, I think that the problem is that like, when it comes to things like affirmative action, the whole point is to give more opportunities to people who have less opportunities already. So like that, the, mm -hmm. ideally, and this obviously isn't always like, it's all, isn't always going to be the case, but in most of the time we, we would, or it's, it's statistically more likely that that white person who might be getting, who might not get into a position, whether it's a school or job or whatever, because of, of because of an affirmative action program, that person is still mm -hmm. likely to have way more other opportunities. Okay. Do you think that the person who got to that position feels great? about because I, like i did because i was able to or oh, it's the, it's it feels, feels bad. it feels bad to not get into a school it feels bad to not get a job all these things feel bad of course no 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 i'm saying like when they actually get in and they're like oh that's just a diversity hire oh that's just the diversity quota yeah that all, you think that's like people who say that also make people feel bad i agree yeah okay so, it would also it, suck what, to not get in because of systemic yeah. racism right Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, good. I'm glad to tell you. Uh -huh. Now what? No, you don't have to tell me. Because, little girl, you don't understand these issues deeply. You really don't. And how That's come okay. Can you, you engage with my point now? What you're saying. And you're not triggering me because you're acting like a valley girl. You're really annoying because you don't understand the points that you're making you're trying to see the small picture without looking at the big picture you're not see looking forward you're looking backwards so you're let's to look at the you're big picture have you sound pretty triggered though you I'm sound not. pretty triggered I'm actually interrupting you because you're stupid as fuck but anyway okay you're to look let's look at the, the big back, picture let's look, look at the big forward. picture okay let's look okay, at the big, big picture. picture yeah okay Great. Let's do that together, shall we? And you'll explain no, to me all the things it. I don't understand. Cool. I hope so. So, mm -hmm. so, yes. Yes. So, we're talking about affirmative action, and you're very, you yes. want to elevate want to people up. Yes. Yes. Elevate people. Elevate. That's it. Elevate people. Sometimes. Create more opportunity. Create more opportunity. That because of privileges in, in that exist for white people, hold on, are only let her, like, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let her finish her question. Let her finish what she's saying. Go ahead, Katie. So, creating more opportunities is awesome and great. The the point of like what happens with advantages and privileges and systemic racism is that usually if you'll just make a bigger classroom, there'll be more white people added to that classroom. It's the oh, same with I'll women say, quotas as well. That's the fucking problem of what I'm saying. If there's okay, already good. a set number of people that go in the classroom, you expand it and obviously fill the, them with the other people, but not otherize them because you made the pool bigger. But if you're using the same amount of people, and there's the same amount of people that we admit admit into the university, then you're taking away. You're not you're not lifting. You're taking okay, away. Okay, so pulling away. so so if there's a class and it's meant to have thirty students in it, and now we say this class will have forty students in it, and you realize that all the people in line for that class were meant to be white, but now we put all black people in that class and said no, that's still no, taking no, away. What are you? Classrooms, classrooms, or are you just limiting the number of people that get in because you have to fill a quota? I'm asking. Do you know? What do you mean? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Are they actually making the classrooms bigger? Are they creating more opportunities? Or are they keeping the same amount of people but limiting who gets in? What are they doing, Katie? 
I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. It, well, the one can I maybe inter, inter, it feels like the problem with the just make the classrooms bigger, just make more slots. Like, like this isn't really practical. Like, it, you can't just all, like. And, and I think what what so what, what Katie was suggesting is, and which I agree with, I think, is that like if you just add a few more slots, and there's still like all these disparities, those slots are much are still going to be more likely to be filled by white people. And so it doesn't, it doesn't really address the problem. We can just infinitely God expand. Damn God damn it. Okay. God damn it. It's like you make okay. the announcement. We are expanding the fucking classroom. We're adding Until 10%. We person. Hold the fuck down. We're adding 10% more people. Like the, 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 the capacity. Okay. Yes. These are going to be for people who have been in marginalized communities because you're not reducing the amount of white people that can get into it because you're keeping the same number. To be honest and to be fair, White people are in a, in a de in declining kind of like trend of majority. They are. Why? Because there's more people in the world. And that's cool. It's not cool if you take everything away to the point where you're like, they're going to be like, This is hey. the most lib shit ever. This is like, you, you are the most <laughs> stupid person. What did you think happened in Nazi Germany? Oh my God. This, you realize. You realize oh my God. I can't oh even. You're right. I'm, I'm short circuiting. <laughs> If you don't know history, even though you're Jewish, apparently, they were blamed for all the problems that the country was having. They were blamed for the economic downturn. Oh, they no. Were blamed More for tangents. White, That's great. Hot. The point is that... Okay. Oh, are you going to engage with what I said? Are you going to engage with what I said? Were I they not blamed talking... for all the problems in the country? What? How does are this have to do with affirmative action? Are you the problems in the country? You're right. We're in danger of a white genocide, Lou. I, I can't believe I've perpetuated this for so long. What you don't realize is that you are putting the pieces in place for people to do that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying you're creating the resentment or the conditions for it to become that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So because you're more worried. You're more worried about white people building resentments towards like um, programs that are meant to like elevate um, like marginalized people then like you you're trying to like you're trying to create options that are going to elevate marginalized people without angering the whiteies that's the whole thing fragility is a big problem isn't it yeah white fragility is a big yeah. problem so you might as not not poke might as well not poke the bear and make sure that they're pretty comfortable as you start popping up the rest because as soon as they feel like they they don't have control they do tend to get a little violent, don't they? They do, yes. I don't know. Okay. So why but are you saying the since I'm since I'm like? Jewish, right? And since no, I, I know it. about World War II, and since I, I know it. about Germany, that's okay that you no, doubt, it. doubt it. I don't give a fuck what you think. Maybe you're you maybe you, you maybe you will know. Maybe you will know that the Jewish people didn't fucking poke the bear. The bear came fucking anyway without the Jewish yeah. people poking any fucking bear. Right. right? That's the right, right? They were blamed for everything, weren't they? Yes. Do you do you huh? hear what because I said? Because of these things, are you stupid? Because they perceived it yes. that way. Because that's not what's in their head. Because they needed so, to find someone to blame. So it they seems like them. racist. So it seems like racist realize, people are going to create whatever not, reality not, they want in their heads, right? That's what it looks like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Lou finish. In order to create this. Let him finish what? So hold on, Lou. We missed the last part of what you're saying. So you, you said that they have so these you, perceptions, and then what? Yeah. Yeah. Jewish people did not poke the bear. But the sentiment was there, wasn't it? They were the cause. They were being blamed for it, right? Even if it didn't happen, even if it was just in their head, even if it's racist people, people don't realize the mistakes. That they have to own their mistakes. They have to look for other people to blame for their mistakes. Okay, right? so it seems from this beautiful example that racist people okay. are going to make up whatever reality they need in their head to justify their hatred for you. It's so this is a dumb that's argument. That's what yeah, is, and so if that's if that's if that's going to happen right? anyway, first of all, what, what, if that's first of all, if that's going to happen anyway. Care? Okay, Hold on. Do you not realize that that's all I'm saying that you're creating the conditions for racist people to justify their racism no matter what? 
but but the implication is that like we shouldn't acknowledge like like when, when you say like oh you're blaming white people blah blah like the statement white people did xyz a lot of the times these things are are literally the, the these are historical facts that people who were oh, who were who, who the people who created the category of white can I, i've been i've been sitting here listening to you scream i've been sitting here listening to you scream are you gonna let me talk racist to say i guess not sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you. Lou, let him finish. Thank you. Is it great to say 1350? Okay, let Radical Coder finish. Coder. Like, a lot of times when people say, like, white people did XYZ, like, they are, they, it is historically factual. Like, we're talking about the people who created the, the, the racial categories and racial hierarchies. We were saying these people did these things. That, that, is, a tr that is factual. I agree that sometimes mm -hmm. that gets conflated with, like, current white people, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, this, just that, that statement in and of itself is still true. So, like, like you, can't, you can't say, like, like, when people are saying this stuff, they're, always, they're just poking the bear. They're triggering all the, all the, the scary white people who are going to do all these horrible things now. Like, like we're just talking about historical realities. Okay, so can we talk about a clip for reality? Thirteen fifty. Is that racist? I, I mean, frankly, that's not even. It's not even a real, a real. Like, like that stat is so drastically misleading. Like you're talking. Like I think Tom was talking about this recently. Um, like, it, but it's like it, it's like very, very. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of those people who are actually committing crime. So like to say thirteen, you, you, it's kind of inherently racist because you're saying that the crimes of those tiny, that tiny amount of black people, like that all black people, all thirteen percent of the country that are black, they're all being lumped in with the with the crimes of a tiny amount of people from that group. Like like oh, this, the sen sentiment itself is. is that's oh, okay. wrong, isn't it? Can that's I the wrong thing to do, me? isn't it? No, that's the wrong thing to do, isn't it? And you're saying that and when I when I'm talking about this, okay, I see what you're saying. You're trying you're trying to say that the when I'm talking about the historic like construction whiteness. Uh, okay, so when we say that white people did X, Y, and Z, we're, we're, like I don't think the implication is that all white people were in power and they collectively agreed to oppress black people. We right? don't. But I don't think that's the implication with 1350 either, though. I don't think anybody's saying they all agreed to go commit crimes or they all collectively well, said, well, like, let's be criminals. They agreed to it. I think most of the time when people say 1350, they're, they're saying something vaguely nefarious, but, you know. Oh, so when you Can say, I like, say historic black people have taken away because those things did actually happen, aren't you saying something nefarious about them? Well, well, I, we're specifically no. talking about the people that like, oh created those, those categories. Go ahead, go ahead, Katie. Um, first of all, just after we're done questioning my Jewishness or whatever the fuck that oh was. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm such a victim. Oh. I mean, it, it's kind of cringe. Not a victim. It, it no, was I mean, just and it's kind of cringe when disgusting. you're weaponizing okay. your identity and you are very disgusting. You're That's weaponizing your identity. I never sure. weaponized or brought up my identity. You're the one who yelled at me that I don't know I'm anything, even way, though I'm Jewish. That. You realize that, okay. right? Because you said you didn't bring up your Jewishness and you said, by the way, I'm Jewish. And I'm like, I doubt I, it literally never said that um i hope so, you go back into the vod and actually check that okay please okay, do it after do. the conversation Thank um you. anyway mm -hmm. so after we agree that there are some racist people who are going to make up things in their minds whether they want to or not that that that's fine those are not the people right. we need to talk about i do agree that there's an element here that because of white fragility and because of the way that some white people are in power there is definitely a risk to poking the bear right obviously okay. there is like okay. um what is happening with the lgbtq community like the way that they're poking the bear is simply by being more visible and obviously it's creating a backlash right so not, we, no, not by being more visible not by being more visible that's not it and i'm interrupting not in a mean way this time because it's the lgbt community it's not because they're being more visible it's because they're feeding into the narratives that they already think you already know that racist people think racist thoughts you already know that conservatives that are homophobic not all conservatives and i'll never say all conservatives Conservatives with homophobic thoughts. Are they into it? Or what they're doing specifically? Holy shit! Can you? Uh, can you uh, I just want to understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So conservatives who are homophobic, not all conservatives, conservatives who are homophobic, already think that we're trying to groom children. The whole thing is that it's it's really unnecessary for you to die on the hill of of drag queen story hour. A story hour. Is there anything wrong with drag queen story hour inherently? Of course not, because we know that those thoughts aren't in our heads. They do think that. So why would you risk painting a target on our back for things that are really not worth it? If you really think that, hey, what we're doing is we're trying to signal to kids who might be going through these struggles that all different people and all and all of us are accepted and are great cool 
that's cool of you to think that way, but when you are kind of weird and you're telling kids and you know how puritanical the society is and how everything is sexualized to them, you are hurting the LGBT okay, community okay. by being so out there in a way that isn't functional, isn't proportional. Yeah, yeah I, I think the disconnect is simply that um, uh, some people who are on the progressive scale are a lot more concerned with like the full actualizations of like human rights and freedom. And for you, because of the actual real consequences that could happen and harm these marginalized communities, you want people to right. be more tactical and more cautious right. and perhaps be willing to even minimize themselves and their freedoms in some ways, but to make right. sure that like safety comes first. And like, I get that. Hold I on. hear that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you did say one word there where I don't agree. You okay. said that um, outcomes that may happen. Are we not seeing legislation banning uh, sexualization of blah, 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 blah? Are we not seeing that there is backlash happening? Because if this was a hypothetical, it would be like, oh, it's not happening. But we are seeing that it is happening. Yes, right? and my argument would be that that was going to happen whether drugs, drags queen story time happened or not. And right? I agree. And we, we can why, disagree why, on that. Why give them ammunition? Okay, here's the thing. We already talked about how some people who are going to be racist um, and are just going to make up stuff in their head. When you say, why give them ammunition? I'm going to say, these people, these Republicans that are making laws against drag queens, they were going to get ammunition either way. You can, it's, they are lost. I want to talk about what's really important, like stuff in like the material world, like what you brought up, like the 1315, the, the, okay, the 1315. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. That was going to happen anyway. Okay, yes. so you think it's important for us to defend our rights, but it, is, is the drag queen thing not right? Well, it's it already happened, right. so like whatever. So why are you think why are you focusing on material things if that's basically one right that we lost for being kind of stupid about it and playing into their hands? Yes, that was my point, but you are taking a preservationist angle and I'm trying to show you that I understand and respect that. I don't agree with minimizing freedoms and human rights for the sake of the fifis of racist people who are going to make up shit whatever they want, but if that's okay. how you want to advocate, that's fine. I want to talk about something more interesting then. Yeah, so real quick, hold on, hold on, Lou. So, hold on, Lou. What, what, what she's saying is that she's not saying we need drag queens going out there and reading to kids. What she's saying is that if a drag queen does go and read to kids and somebody comes over and says, hey, this is wrong, they need to stop doing this, she's going to say, well, no, they have the right to do this. There's nothing actually wrong with this, and so you need to lay off because she's advocating for the right for them to do it, but she's not saying they need to go do this. Right. She's advocating for the right to go do that. By being, yeah. well, when by, it, it, by, she's defending the right. Not, I, I like. It's not like th that. Right should be like or, should already exist. Like the, the implication of a lot of things you're saying is that like these exist. people are kind of like creating the. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they they are trying to legislate against it. Um, I think. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone why, why are they trying to legislate against it? Because it happened, I guess. So now it's now it shouldn't happen. Like you're saying, <laughs> like the implication is that like it shouldn't have happened at all. Them? And when, when, exactly. when, when you talk, hang on. When you talk about like people like dying on the hill defending it, like the the the, the, the the alternative is accepting the legislation banning it and, and like so if no, people are pushing no, it, no, no yes, yes it is no, because people no, because when people are no, no, shut up, because no, when people are defending it, no. when people are defending it right now there is legislation that is trying to be passed that would ban things like drag queen story hour and if people push back against that they're going to be accused by people like you of dying on the hill of defending drag queen story hour when what they're really doing is asserting the right for that to exist and when people like you fight die on that hill it creates a backlash that fucks the rest of us up. Like, 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 so the alter you admit, though, that the alternative is letting that legislation pass, right? The alternative, in this case, is, is letting the fight the legislation for pass. the right. For the right. Educate. Change. That's cute. For That's cute. No, it's no, 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 no. That's the whole point of this. We'll yeah, we should, them, we should not let them help. We should let them pass. Just, can you just say that for me? Did you not hear what I just said? No, I, I didn't, actually. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, you idiot. I said educate okay. people. 
educate people, <laughs> kill them when they're a threat. Move but on. against kind of legislation, right? In, in part. I'm sorry? Edu educate people to encourage them to vote against people who would impose that legislation, right? Educate, not shame. Wokeism does. It's shame. It's trying to push it. Educate does not mean what you, shame. No, Wokes you, you can't, you you can't, can't say shame. I'm answering a question? You're not, though. Can He's talking about legislation. It's legislation. What shame? Without you interrupting. Can I ask the fuck? Can I answer the fucking question without you interrupting? I, mm, Thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you very no. much. So what I'm saying is, it is about fighting against the leg legislation, but it's not fighting tooth and nails. Sometimes you do actually fucking lose. But it's about educating. It's not about forcing. The moment you force, the moment it you, it's blowback. It's the same way with them. How is it any different? When people uh, were in the alt right were saying like, "There's Dungeons and Dragons are are the devil," and they look what we create the moral panic because we push them too fucking fast. Wait, right? So when you say, oh my god, wait, when you say forcing, no, it's not, Coder, it's not please. Forcing. Okay. Please, I. Ahead, what sorry. is the what is the line to this? Okay, because like I I feel like from what you're saying, you have your own like code or system through which you know what things are worth dying on a hill, a hill for and what aren't. But like the argumentation that you're using would be like an argumentation that like someone would say to like, we should go back to Jim Crow because that would agitate the whites less. Like there, there's no end to, to the, to this argumentation. So like, that one was so stupid. what? I want you to build another straw man, please. Because this one was so effective. Okay, great. So what I'm asking you is, where is um, the line and strawman? how can we ideologically, this is not a straw man, please listen when I talk. So oh, listen to the straw using, man built. using your argumentation, how do we right? ideologically just, build the line? Tom, please help me. Lou, you gotta let her finish, Lou. Lou, you gotta let her finish. Lou. Lou, you yeah, gotta dude, let but her did finish. I ever advocate for me? To actually go back to Jim Crow. Is that not No, a I never fucking said that. That's the thing. Oh, no. You don't listen. It's ridiculous. Weird. I heard that. Lou, she's no. asking That's you. That's great that you heard you that. She's saying if you don't okay, establish well, the time, Yeah. If you don't establish time, the the implication is that. Without, without loading it morally. Okay. It's all, okay. This is all moral. So stuff, I, okay. No, no, no. I apologize. No. I apologize. No. It's like. Without morally loading. Okay. So the argumentation that you're using could be used to justify a lot of like there. I want to know where your ideological line is, not in terms of this is what I feel we should the, the hill we should die on and what hill we should not. So like ideologically, if I were to follow your lead, how would I be able to tell from your let me finish from your argumentation where what are we supposed to die on and what we're not supposed to die on? Perfect. It's great that you asked me that. It is. Thank you. There were signs that conservatives were reaching a boiling point. There were signs of it. It, it didn't happen like out of the blue that they're going to start legislating the drag queen story hour, right? Like, first it was the pronouns that people were uncomfortable and they're like, oh, that's fine. But I mean, you have to be polite to other people. So I guess I'm going to have to do that. But then if you don't respect them, then you're a bigot, you're an evil person, you're a this, you're a that. And then it start. It starts to build up, build up, build up, build up until it reaches a point, a boiling point, where everything that they're being blamed for becomes frustrating because they don't feel like they were actually doing that. But what they're, but if, if if we're not the evil people, if we're the ones doing that, then it has to be something else. And they always find a scapegoat. People never like to admit that they're wrong. People will always okay. find a scapegoat. So where's the line? I I asked a question. The line is. To have the finger on the pulse to see where conservatives are at, not to shut them out. Because when you don't hear what conservatives are thinking, it lulls you into a false sense of security where we're all accepted and we're all fine. That's why we ban them out of all the platforms. And then we're like, hey, we can do whatever we want now. And like, oh, shit, those people, they were still there and they were still a threat. And now they're actually making legislation because they do actually ha have political power. They were always you realize <laughs> What 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 was it was legislated about that in 2016? I, I mean, we could dig into it, but I but. I don't understand. So what we're saying here is that 
is your argument that we should have built up slower into more trans acceptance, for example, to not agitate the Republicans? For example, it's really simple. And I, that's why I was saying non-binary is not a gender. It's like, yeah, if we can educate ourselves into understanding that technically we're all trans. I mean, we're all non-binary because some people will express some certain traits that are masculine, some certain traits that are feminine. So being in that, in that fan, eh, it makes sense. But categorizing that as trans means that something has changed. Gender expression hasn't really changed. We've always been here. We're just giving it a name. Okay. Do we so, really have to keep pushing like so much social change where we know it's going to panic? Should we don't have to wait to get our rights on people. They need to pull themselves to like the to 2023. Yeah, they were kind of with us. They were. But okay. we kept silencing so, them. So in my... In, in, from the way, and I know you think not all Republicans are homophobic, for example, uh, but okay. The ones are, but. <laughs> um, so basically, from my understanding of conservatism and from what it seems it means to be a Republican today, it seems that there's always going to be a pullback to tradition. So, you know, like the meme that's going around now that like people are trying to separate LG LGB from like um, the trans community. But like if, th if there wasn't a moral panic now about the trans community, like Republicans would still want to make gay marriage illegal the same way they turned Roe v. Wade. Like they're always mm -hmm. going to try to pull back. That's their entire ideology. That is still the Republican position, by the way, Lou. Like the, the gay anti-gay marriage is not is not like off the Republican platform. Yeah, I know. That's why they codified it. But anyway, um, one thing that's really important is that you've seen the trend that LGBT people, their acceptance was on the rise, on the rise, on the rise, on the rise. And suddenly it started to dip down. Are you what are you saying about that? Is that means the new generation is not comfortable with LGBT people, are less comfortable with LGBT people. Than the previous one why is that i think it's on the rise and the only people who are more aggressive about it are rise. republicans and conservatives lgbt people are more accepted today than they ever were in history especially it's in the perfect. younger generations we're trending down nope we're trending down especially there's always going to be younger. dips like I, I i'll agree with you there's going to be times where like that that number goes down and like it's it's not it's not a straight shot like progress doesn't work that way like there and there, cause especially because there's always people there's always people who are pushing back against it and there's also a really real quick there's also a really really well-funded media funnel that's constantly spreading outrage about these things oh and we gave them the ammo to be outrageous we gave about them that. the ammo they don't give a fuck about the ammo they will make anything into the ammo because they hate these things fundamentally at their core they think these things should be illegal they think it should be illegal to be a drag queen they think it should be a little, especially illegal to be a drag queen around kids because they're evil no not because they're evil because they're they have bad ideas ingrained in their that they've been tr like they've been groomed into <laughs> frankly so what's the solution uh, i mean ideally educate them out of it you know but we, we can't, we can't, it's, I'm, 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 like, well, not I'm not just, saying we... Not just to educate them out of it, but stigmatizing the yeah. bad ideas so that they're less pervasive, less likely I to be taught. Idea, um, it's kind of what gets us here, though. It's not, not though, because again, I'm yes, good. yes, because there's like, there, there's stigmatizing things and then there's taking it too far, right? Somebody like yelling at black people on the streets, calling them the N-word over and over, right? That gets and posted on the internet. Wrong. A bunch yeah. of people are going to be really upset about it. But then when you start like harassing them, calling their bosses, calling their families, swatting them, like, yes, now you're taking it way too far. Now you, now it's not just about stigmatizing this behavior, but it's also about like vengeance towards that person. And that's when it has gone too far. And I think like what you do is you seem to like conflate the two where it's like, this is um this is a thing that's good but it leads to this and so we just can't do the thing that's good anymore because it no, leads to the thing that's bad thing. it's not that we can't do the thing is that we need to strive to get there we can't force people there we, we only have we can only meet people where they are like but that's, that's what why stigmatizing so the behavior is is like but, no wait. It, it's making it it's it's not forcing people you are like you're calling it out when it happens so that it's less likely to no. happen in the future 
But it's like you're not oh. meeting the trans people where they are, for example, or drag queens where they are. You want to meet the Republicans or like the conservatives where they are, like their feelings and their self-actualization and their freedoms and their fears and their concerns are more important than people who want to transition or people. You okay, you're talking while I'm talking, so I don't know. Are. Yes. That, that's exactly what I said. Yes. That is exactly so it, what I said. So, so if we're right meeting now, people where they are, how is right your line of down. thinking, how is your line of thinking telling us when we should allow people to ex exercise their freedoms and when we should not to protect conservative feelings? Yeah, Lou, you got to stop talking while other people are talking because your I'm mic afraid. is so messed up that it, it cuts yeah. everybody out. Sorry. Thank you. Sure. We have to meet people where they are. We have to keep our finger on the pulse. We have to hear what the other side is thinking. We have to engage with the ideas that they're thinking. Are they pushing this idea? Okay, fight against it, but educate against it. So if you stigmatize, there's behavior that can be stigmatized, but for us to be able to stigmatize it, we do need to get to that point where everyone's educated enough to understand why it's stigmatizing. You can't just shame people into it. You stigmatize it by educating them. Why are people not arguing like, maybe I should say the N-word. Maybe it is a right. It's like, well, it's not equal because we're educated that the historical use of that word has really messed people up. And we're compassionate enough and empathetic enough to not use it. Some people are fucked up and they'll always use it. Sure. But you people stigmatize do argue it. that they yeah. should say the N-word. Matt Walsh like, got on a whole pissy, whiny, bitchy rant about it, about how you should be able to say the N-word. Also, it's just, like, legal, too. Like, it's not illegal in the U.S. to, like, say the N-word, if, even if you're white, you okay. know, like, so. Was it successful? His argument. Where people are like, oh, my God, that's so based, yeah. I mean, probably the people, in some degree. The on, people on, he's wait, wait, appealing wait, to, obviously, yes. Hold on, I'm gonna let That's Boots. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let Boots jump in real quick. Oh wait, no, actually, that was a great point. I wanted to hear them answer, but they just totally misunderstood what he just said. I don't know if it's because of the terrible mic or, um, you know, just because they didn't understand. But well, may feel free to clarify. I, maybe I, maybe I did uh, misunderstand. No, no, please, please repeat, because I joined halfway through. Oh, I don't know the name who per whose side I'm on, Me. but please repeat your <laughs> n-word point. Were they successful for the use of the N word? And then you said, and they're appealing to people where uh, where it did succeed. How do you know? How did it did succeed? How do you know? Okay, when I'm saying it succeeded, I mean that you're talking about appealing to the feelings and emotionalities of an audience that is already bigoted and racist and is not interested in actually caring about liberating and freedoms of the marginalized people they don't like. I know. Well, I, I would say that the, it, it probably succeeded in that Matt Walsh's audience isn't like, whoa, Matt, that's too far, dude. That's crazy. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that that happened, like, in response to you him know? saying that, right? I mean, did it, I, could be, I could be wrong. I, I'm saying, I'm asking, I guess, because I, I don't know. Are, are you, I didn't see this. Aware? Did you know? What? No, right? I'm, so you're making assumptions, right? Yeah, my bad. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess I was, but yeah. Okay, cool. Is going that, like a billion a different directions, argument. and I, I, I really, I don't understand why something like drag queen story hour is you consider that a right, Katie? Because you're saying that yeah. We're, yeah. we're depriving people of their fundamental rights by yeah, passing. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not po like advocating for banning it or anything. I just don't understand why you would. Well, right. I think the, the, the problem is that right now th there is legislation that is trying to ban it. And that legislation would also just target like trans people being around kids in public, basically, like a lot of times, because like the way that they characterize these things. Well, are, it's like, not about it, like, trans people. It's about. Well, I, I understand there's a difference yeah. between trans people and drag queens, but like, I, I think the problem with the language on these kinds of bills is that it, it is, it's vague enough in a way that does go further than just drag performers. Like, it, okay, it, but I want to answer okay. also. Yeah, go ahead, okay. Um, like, I'm confused because like wearing what you want is legal and is a right as far as I'm concerned. And being around children and reading books to children is mm -hmm. also something that you're allowed to do and is like a right to exist wherever you are and do things. So I don't know how it's not a right, you know? Right. So it's a like, combination of two rights, actually. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. okay. But like, mm 
the history of drag is something that has always been something very sexual. Um, uh-huh. And perceived that it's not a right for parents to like um, show extremely sexual content to their children. Like there are still things that you cannot, you can't bring a child to like a pornographic movie theater because okay. we consider that to be something that's inappropriate. Um, so yeah. I don't understand why this would be something different. Well, if the drag queens yeah, if it's considered doing... adult content, drag right, queens think... are not considered adult content when they're sitting Maybe. around and reading Maybe. a book. Maybe. Well, Maybe. no, yeah. drag queens well, that's are. That's There's a difference that's between that's drag and, and a person. trans person, and this is why I don't understand why you guys are conflating the two. Well, We're I, not. I, the, okay, the reason I conflate is what, 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 okay, what, and it's to Katie. Katie. Yes. Do you not know the historical issues that people of the LGBT community have had for the last century or more, even farther back, regarding the stigma around them with kids? I do acknowledge that. Yes. Oh, so you did? Okay. I don't. So I want... don't think people from the LGBTQ avoiding kids were is going to stop that stigmatization. You know what? Because it was fake then, and it's fake now. The That's the point. Yes. Is it fake? Okay, cool. You guys are yes, it's fake. Are you saying it's fake? No, no, hold on. I'm, hold saying, on. People, I'm saying LGBTQ people grooming children is fake. Yeah, like it's no more prevalent in that community than any other community. Yeah. Do all people know that? Um, oh well, my I mean, God. No, there's a lot of disinformation, but yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, so how do you fight that? What? How do you fight that disinformation? Do you like? Do you think anyone here is like advocating against educating people about these things? Well, yeah, because kind of what you're doing is like just trying to push for legislation. Or no, well, no, the legislation is being pushed by. We're, we're we're talking about pushing against legislation specifically. Okay, push against legislation that, like, that, that takes away people's human rights. Human That's rights, not a human yeah. right. That's not a human okay, right. Okay, I apologize. And Civil near rights. Child, I mean, frankly, like... You it, can like, say it's something that should be legal, yeah. but please don't say it's a fucking It is, it is currently legal Jesus to be in drag and be around a child. Yeah, it is currently legal to do that. And Republicans want to make it illegal to do that. Okay, yeah. so it's here's freedom the, of speech. Yeah. Freedom freedom of freedom of association. Association. So if most people are not comfortable yeah. with that, then who are you to say that this is something that they need to be comfortable with? And they don't have to they be kids. Be com- they don't it's a it's a legal thing to do and we're saying it should still be legal because just because people are bigoted doesn't mean they get to pass around laws to limit other humans freedoms they're right for a stripper to be able to dance in front of children can children enter those establishments what does this have to do with drag Nothing you do. is that a right no, no no it has because you're saying that like Drag is not something that is necessarily sexual, but in today's context, it is something sexual. So stripping is not something that is necessarily sexual. It is just a woman showing her body. But is that something that kids should be doing? Like kids should be going to watch I I apologize. So Boots, you think that tits are are sexual, right? No. Tits and all con. No, no, why not? Exactly. They're mostly considered well, sexual things. Think, Should children be allowed to see boobs? Hold Should on, children hold on, be hold allowed on, to see on, their hold mother's on, boobs? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I we get like I there's already so much confusion on this. Okay, no, Boots, Tom, what, there are women on, Katie, sexually harassing talking. their children. Ka- Katie, chill. Okay, boots. What? No, uh, what you're is, being uh, retarded on purpose, and it's really fucking annoying. What is oh, sexual? You about... are so fucking gone. All it's right, so I'm sad. about to mute you guys. Right, what is boots? What is sexual about the uh, like drag queen story hours that you would you or what uh, is it that you think people perceive as sexual? There is nothing that is inherently sexual about drag queen story hour. However, people will see drag queens and put upon drag queens sexual um connotation which is reasonable because drag queens have always been something sexual so like drag performance is a sexual performance it has historically been for fucking ever since its birth um just like strippers 
People taking off their clothes. There's nothing in people taking off their clothes that is necessarily sexual. There's nothing inherently sexual about that. However, it's reasonable to legislate against that because it's something that people are uncomfortable with kids being around. That's great. So how does this relate to when women walk around without shirts or bras next to children and their breasts are out? Like, why should mothers be allowed to walk around with their tits out next to their children? Because tits are mostly perceived as sexual. Like, tits are not inherently sexual, but people generally think they are. Katie spit. Wait, wait, I want to hear her answer. Tits are not inherently sexual. Can you do that for little kids? So there's a difference between somebody's body existing as their body and a performance. Ah, I see. So when a when a drag queen is not doing anything sexual and you're projecting onto her and she just wears a dress and an outfit and the, then she the reads a book, the whole it's okay that you drag, project. The yeah? whole point of drag is that the the body of the drag performer is a performance. They okay. are performing as a like an over sexualized woman. <laughs> So I don't, I don't understand how you cannot understand this. There's a difference between the body of half of the population and somebody who is um, playing up the characteristics that are necessarily sexual of a, a woman. Is, can, you, can you be tits out in front of other people's children? So, is it a right for you to be tits out in front of other people's children? Um, wasn't there just okay. the Twitter thing? about the women in the fountain and like it's the, right the optional to be tits out in front of other children was there children were there children at that fountain yes yes yeah you sure you want to take a yes, video again? i'm sure okay well maybe next time you should keep your ass out for that okay? yeah i mean i think was... i think most of us are gonna agree that women shouldn't be walking around with their shirts off like uh in no public i don't or... agree i don't agree with that okay <laughs> Fuck you, Tom. Well, so the, yeah, the issue is, is that like what you call sexual is always going to be based on like a cultural understanding of sex and what is used in sex uh, primarily. And so breasts are sexualized to a heavy degree. And so we're going to consider them sexuals, uh, sexual. And then when they're out, we're going to consider that some sort of sexual act in front of children. If there's some sort yeah, of utility to it, like breastfeeding, it's a little bit of a different argument. But just having your breasts out, yes, lots of people are going to consider this sexual just as they're going to look at a drag queen. And even though it may not inherently be sexual, it's going to be Based well, on the context that drag queens sexual. exist with. A drag queen is oh a performance of you sexuality. Just, you just said that it wasn't <laughs> inherently <laughs> sexual. <laughs> perception <laughs> is key. Perception matters. Intent doesn't matter, right? It's you have to you basically use that argument earlier, Coder. It can be you have to know how people are gonna take it, right? Yes, I understand. I, I I agree that pe like people se like have the sexual connotations with drag, right? I understand that. And, and what I'm saying, one of the things, the reason that I like conflated, um, or the reason it felt like I was conflating trans people and drag queens earlier, is because this legislation is written in a way that does that. And also, I mean, besides that point, though, um, I I think that yeah. it is important here, like, to notice that like the drag queen story hour that people are uh, defending is is specifically not sexual in nature. Even though you're yeah. like, even though there are those those sexual connotations around drag. That's why it's really disingenuous are you, are you, comparing are you it to strip ignoring, clubs. It's Burl's Are cue. you ignoring the historical ideations? They're panicking, whatever. But are you ignoring the historical issues that homosexual people have had with being associated with pedophilia? Are you ignoring all that? No, I'm not. Why aren't you ignoring it? I mean, I'm not ignoring it because I, I, we have to deal with it because it's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's, part of, it's, it's part of what's fueling the, this kind of legislation. Sure. The wives have children around them. Dealing with it, dealing with it isn't separating gay people, gay people from children. Oh my god! Are you an idiot? People. A lot of people have sexual yeah, connotations are. with, like, not just drag, but but people wearing clothes that don't that aren't don't uh, seem to align with their uh, with their like biological sex, right? A lot of people think that yeah. this is a sexual thing by like in nat by nature, and yeah. they want to legislate. Can I ask that. you guys a question? Also. So, so temperatures against, like, 
LGBT stuff have been like so yeah. much worse recently than they have like yeah. in the past 10, 20 years. Why is this something that is being pushed for now? And why hasn't it been pushed for before? I think it has. I think they never really stopped pushing for it, but I think that it has come to a peak. I, I guess this is kind of the conversation that Lou and I were having. Um, like the out the. The suggestion is that it's coming because, like, uh, I guess uh, I, I would say it's just that people are more visible. To be honest, I think that's the main thing: is that people are increasingly visible. Uh, it's and there's also like a, a large effort to try to uh, represent. Uh, like, like there's a lot. There, there's a very well-funded media funnel that like is is uh, presenting all of the the worst aspects or like perceived worst aspects of these kinds of things, and specifically associating them with the the pedophilia stuff and all. Like, this is a very like I think it's a very effective thing that's. Uh, that's fueling the legislation and no, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's definitely becoming more common said. though I, like she's right like it's definitely becoming more common it wasn't always there it's becoming more it, it, common but yeah. it's becoming more common because of like lgbtq visibility wanting to make kids like more comfortable and the more that these people are accepted the more the more likely it is that some school or some teacher is going to allow this to happen. Whereas before that was very yeah. unlikely that any teacher would allow Wait. this to happen in the first place. I, I don't want to miss what was said because it, it's really bad. So here's the thing. When we're talking about perception, when we're talking about if people generally view something as sexual, then it really matters. Um, it, it, it's like it's worth legislating over and whatever the fuck. So we understand that women, hot women in bikinis usually is something that is pre-sexualized. However, we have beaches where women go around, hang out Katie, around kids. Boots, you don't have shut to the argue fuck up and let me talk. Make... I don't care. Okay, well, so against that. nobody, <laughs> literally nobody. You are the one who said that drag queens are inherently sexual because people have connotations of sexuality around them. No, because the creation of drag is something that is in an underground sexual community. Drag performances That's great. have until, until extremely, extremely recently been highly sexualized performances. There is nothing sexual about a woman having her body out at the beach. That's oh, wait, great. On, on, there is nothing sexual about a man sitting in a dress on, reading a book either. The only reason why you call that you're sexual... You're both wrong in that sense. You're both wrong oh in that God. sense. A woman's it, body was stigmatized for a long time as something sexual. Wearing a, yes. a very really bikini was moralized to the fucking ends of hell. So yes, all of this is going... Me. I'm not wrong. Wait. I'm talking about the performance. It is the performance of... Putting on drag, it is something sexual. Yes, it, yes all of this is going to be based is something on something sexual. Hold on, yes. all of this is going to be based okay. on utility. Hold on, wait, 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 because we got to parse words here. One, like, it's going to be based on utility. Yes, obviously, women in bikinis are going to be considered sexual, and then the more, like, they'll they'll have even, like, uh, you know, string bikinis and crap like that that make it even more sexual, but it's based on the utility of the bikini in that scenario where they're going to the beach, they're getting wet, it's easier to dry with the less clothes on, and it makes sense, and it becomes acceptable because of the utility in that scenario. Whereas, That's like, cool. when we're talking about drag queens, like we're um generally it's been burlesque or as hunter avalon says it burl's q that's been the yeah. sexual version <laughs> of drag queens whereas drag queens are generally just like people dressing up as women in a cartoonish way um and okay. overemphasizing so, like uh feminine aesthetics tom that's cool now what i want to say is what is to cool? understand what about what, that what what cool? can you stop no. yelling over me what is wrong no. with you no, Let me then talk. Just, then don't just say it's cold. Yes, you didn't I address can anything. Say I said you just said it was. I want actually. No, but you just said it was cope, and then and then no. didn't address anything that I said. Okay, Tom. The utility argument is silly because women wearing bikini string bikinis in commercials has nothing to do with the utility of the beach. Okay, that was my argument. Now. Boots, I understand that because you hate trans yes, people does. and drag queens, you really Why want to you demonize them. I don't them. hate trans people. Why do you say that? You know that that's I, not true. I understand. So because you, you think drag queens Why are inherently evil and sexual. Why do you know the straw man? Okay. You so because you think drag, ween, drag oh, queens are inherently sexual, stop yelling when I talk. It's really pathetic. 
It's so Guys, weird. No, it's ugly. so fucking He's weird. He's building his saying that. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, okay. no. Like, okay, really hold on. Weird. Let her finish. Listen, and so I don't know your name. Please just fucking it. let her finish. Huh? Your mic right. is terrible, and I cannot yes, hear. Yes, your anything. mic is really rough, so it makes it hard to hear anybody. Okay, sorry, Katie. Please finish. Okay, so because you want to make, I understand that when I'm making an equivocation, I'm not saying that a woman's body is the exact same thing as a guy putting on a dress and reading a book. However, the difference is, is about that you're saying that there's a really big component to it of like how it's perceived. If it's perceived to be sexual by a lot of people, and if it has historical context, we have women dressing okay, up performatively. Please. I will finish talking, dressing up performatively all the fucking time. So it would be really nice if you actually addressed my point about how no one that supports drag story hour supports strip clubs. They just support a person in a dress reading a book. And that is not sexual. So they support a sanitized version of a sexual performance, but it is still a sexual performance. I am not saying anything about um, whether this is something that is perceived as this way or perceived as this way. I understand that a woman's tits can be perceived as something sexual, but I am saying that that has nothing to do with what they are. Now, what a drag queen is, and I'm not saying a drag queen is inherently sexual. I'm saying drag is a sexual performance. Okay, so when a man is wearing makeup and a dress, they are, if, if, a, if we didn't call it drag hour, if we just called it men wearing dresses story hour, would that make you feel any better? If they were just a story hour where there were a, a man wearing a dress and makeup reading a book to a child, I wouldn't like, give a fuck. But crash drag, yeah, that's story what I'm hour. defending. That's what I'm defending. No, you're defending Drag Queen Story Hour. Which is what you just described. Which is that? Wait, no, 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 no. hold on, wait, wait, wait. it's oh not. There's a, hold on, wait, wait, no, hold on. You, you guys you have to recognize the, there's sorry, a difference between drag queens and cross dressing. wearing makeup and dresses. They are, they are like over sexualizing the female, like body parts. Um, trying to like be extra female. Okay, then I guess we were speaking. It is hypersexual. What I said, what I said, and what you said is exactly what I'm talking about and what I'm defending. So that's that. Wait, but hold on. No, you. It, so when she says drag queen, it, at one point she said, one, "I'm just talking." Or sorry, at one point you said, "I'm just defending a man wearing a dress um, and then reading to kids," and then at another point you said. Well, I'm defending drag queens reading tickets. These are she's separating the two. It's like one is a cross dresser, the other one is a drag queen, and that there's there, uh, there's boots. obvious. I I'm saying boots was separating the two, and then you yeah. said yes to both, and so now you said, but I'm only saying yes to one of these. Which one is it that you're okay. actually? So maybe boots can tell me what she means by drag queen story hour because as far as it goes and what i'm defending i'm defending a drag queen so uh a man who might be well drag queen yeah i'm defending a drag queen who might have her tits out i'll give you that reading a book to children if we don't think women who have their tits out read books to children i don't know what we're talking about anymore so if you're talking about drag queen story hour and you're talking about a drag queen um doing a burlesque performance to children that is clearly okay. not what i'm defending. katie yes. what if there were a stripper reading hour where the strippers had they were clothed but they had their tits out reading to kids do you think strippers don't talk to children? What? Can you answer my question instead of just Yes. Wrestling? I think strippers who aren't stripping for children are allowed to read books to children, actually. Yes. So a, a stripper story hour would be Does totally that fine. Are you? Are yes. they stripping for the children? No, but, it, you know, they've all got their big fake tits all pushed up right in front of the kids, you know. Are they dressed this like strippers? This is a strippers? sexual performance. Yeah, it's a sexual performance to push your tits up? 
Tell that to half yes. the women that exist. Yes, it's... they are sexual performing as well. That's okay, obviously that's, true. That's great that you. Okay, so now we're talking Wait, about you like should sexual feel that way too, Katie. If you're a feminist, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, if you're a feminist, I might not be a feminist. So, thank um, God, get out of God, my book, exactly. yes, Thank God, um, Tom. If we're now going to do like to talk about sexual performativity in general, we can do that. Um, we're clearly we're talking about sexualization of specific elements. And since I know that some teachers do in fact wear push-up bras and have like a, a t-shirt on so you can see their cleavage i know that women exist around children with their tits out so this is retarded there is a difference between the performance as in doing that intentionally around children versus just having a shirt on that are you See, here's the thing. I'm not interested. I'm not interested like you in policing whether a woman is wearing a push-up bra because she's trying to perform or if she's just doing that because she just exists. We haven't even gotten to the policing part yet. If she wants to do that to read to children, it's different, right? Okay. So So no push-up bras around children, Yeah. Well, I think it's, yeah, it's a bit fucking weird if you're going to a story hour and you choose, like, it, it, drag queens take fucking hours to get ready. This isn't like a, oh, No, 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 we're I'll not talking about drag queens. We're okay, not talking I'm, about drag queens. Listen, please just let me fucking finish. It takes yeah. hours for them to get ready. This is a very, very deliberate choice that they are making and something that they are choosing to go to this event uh-huh. as this thing. So if a woman, like a, in this case, a stripper, goes to story hour in like spends hours getting ready and puts on all of the the clothes that are like super showing off her body and just goes there and reads to kids that is according to you not something inherently sexual but let's no, say that you we're said like, that she was dressed and had a nice you said she was dressed right we didn't say she goes in her strip club outfit yeah for the record the at least for me the the drag <laughs> story hour that i'm i'm like defending here is is generally of people like not exposing a ton of skin or anything like i i'm not i'm not i think that there's yeah. a there's probably a line where it would it could get it could make things we're, weird yeah they're, why, they're working line, with why? a straw <laughs> man they're working with a straw man and it's like no, the, the, no, it's not not defending the straw, man. straw man katie exactly. i'm not defending the straw man you just seem to really hate it when women wear push-up bras around children which is fine that no. you do it's just I weird mean, I, so is honestly, it, it, I don't know if you just are not listening, or it's like an EFL thing, or it's like you're deliberately doing this. I can't tell. That's okay. I don't doubt it, that you can't. Is it so? Are yeah. you are you saying that it, it would be like equally a problem with like with what I'm saying, like the the drag queens that are like fully dressed? Like, are you all, are you also having no. you have the same position on that? Coder, what you basically so, did yourself. You landed. Sorry, hold on. Coder, yeah. you landed on the, on the position yourself. There is a line where it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Uh, sure. This wasn't well, it. Yeah, of course. Right. This wasn't it. I, I, I agree that this wasn't the line. But then you start seeing like more and more and more. And they're pushing it a little more. And they're pushing it a little more. And that's, the pro- that's when it creates the perception where like, hey, we're already making them uncomfortable. Maybe we, we like, could have a little bit more chill because no one's rights are getting taken away yet. But if we push and push and push past the point where their line is, then it blows back on us because you already admitted yourself there is a line. I mean, I never said there wasn't a line for the record. Um, But like and also the the legislation right now, again, does target even these uh, even the people that I'm talking about who are who are who are completely covered, who are just who are wearing like over the top, um, uh, like colorful dresses and shit, Um, because like the. Like a lot of these laws are not targeting um, like sexualized performances necessarily. Like okay. they're they're, they're Hold on. yeah. Hold on. Yes, that's fine. I I'm, I completely agree with that. Okay. How awesome. long? And we were arguing about something that wasn't to argue about. Yeah, I was thinking right now. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. I how long did it take? For, how long did it take for legislation to come in about the drag queen thing? Was it immediate? Like as soon as we saw drag queen story hours, like boom, next day. 
I don't know. Was it immediate? I, I assume it was. I assume it probably there were probably bills that were like started to be worked on pretty quickly after like uh, accounts when accounts like Libs of TikTok start to uh, harp on a specific uh, thing like like Drag Queen Story Hour, for example, and they start to put like mm -hmm. uh, they start to frame even they'll, they'll frame things that aren't even Drag Queen Story Hour as Drag Queen Story Hour, right? Um, exactly. For one thing, and right. they'll take all these things right. and yeah, yeah. So after after these things became a, a part of the conservative like mainstream. Um, uh, yeah, like after they started targeting these things, that's when the bills start to pass. Yeah, but but again, the bills. Th th this is the problem. The bills are more insidious. They're not even just about the drag queens. Like, okay, okay, okay. You just went all over there. The problem is not the yeah. drag queens, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. You understand? Okay. There's a line. You understand that we're pushing that line. There wasn't a line. Stop acting like I'm. I like conceded <laughs> something. <laughs> like I never said there wasn't. <laughs> Okay, I'm saying the line in general. I'm not saying on drag queens. I'm saying that we're pushing the line because we're pushing progressive ideologies, right? We're pushing, not forcing. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. And we start to see like, hey, they're starting to create this boogeyman. No, we, we got to keep going. Keep going forward because we can't let them win. Hey, maybe we can. This is a moment where we're like, okay, we have to have the finger on the pulse. We have to check the temperature of the other side. We're not raising the temperature. Basically, I'm making the argument that we have to boil the frog slowly or else they jump out of the pot. And you guys just make them jump out of the pot and ruin the, 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 the advancement that we have. Because you have no chill. You don't listen to what they're arguing. You're not listening to their concerns. Oh, what you see? Ignore what your eyes see. Can you stop saying you guys when you're talking, you're talking about people who aren't, who clearly aren't, like, I don't think are, are me or Katie here. Like, it sounds like you're talking about people who aren't us. Yes, he he's talking about the wokes, the wokes. Yeah, like like we're not we're not the wokes you're looking for. It sounds like maybe it's not the wokes you're looking for. I mean, maybe she is. I know I'm not. Like, what you, like yeah, what I don't you know describe. about radical Coda, but I know Katie is like definitionally one of the wokes. I, yeah, I am for I, sure. I identify as a woke. Like I am, I am, I am, I am hyper woke. But I, I'm just not. I just don't see my. I just don't hold the position that Lou outlined. You know. Yeah. Didn't you say I, that you had to defend trans genocide. But we, we actually moved you. Yeah, I moved you. So I pushed that line for you. Katie, do you agree that there's a trans genocide? <laughs> oh, okay. That there's a trans genocide? Um, it's right now in the US. I think it's on its way, but I don't think it qualifies yet. No. And and oh just for the record, what Lou, what Lou moved me on here, he's he's about to go into this, I'm sure. But what he moved me on is that him saying that like what's happening is worse than a genocide. Yep. Yeah, I think the genocide thing is funny. Um, I used to say that there is a genocide, but because I take after Lou, I don't want to poke the bear. So I don't use that word anymore because then people start a really stupid rhetorical argument instead of actually talking about what's hurting trans people. So it's just better not mm -hmm. to engage with that, reject the word genocide, and then move on to an actually productive conversation that isn't like semantics. Um, so that's why I do that. Frustrating to me that it seems like you're cons I'm sorry, are you talking? No, no, go for it, but it's fine. Yeah, it, it's frustrating, Katie, that, oh, I don't know about you, Radical Coder, I'm sorry, I know nothing about you, that okay. it's, it seems like you're more concerned with, um, with being right than with doing what is good for trans people. Um, I understand. You know nothing about me, so that would make sense that you feel uh, that way. Okay. However, well, I, I don't I particularly wasn't, I wasn't give done a talking. fuck. Okay, so, good. So uh, the trans people who are being affected by anti-trans laws do give a fuck. Because mm -hmm. people, even, they are bigoted. Okay, people are bigoted. They are going no. to be bigoted for a while. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. this is going to shift. Um, there's less bigotry towards gay people, and it's kind of moved on to like trans people being the main thing. But mm -hmm. people who are bigoted are going to consider like drag stuff, all any sort of gender crossing boundaries to be something mm -hmm. that is in the no no category. And anytime you guys push that a little bit further and make people a little bit more uncomfortable, it's going to be something that they're more likely to push back against until they Great. hit a breaking point. Okay, so listen to again, what I'm saying. Kate, you, you're actually just not even fucking listening because this is really important. Because obviously, trans people mm -hmm. have nothing to do with drag queen fucking story hour, okay? Mm -hmm. But pushing for shit on drag queen story hour, pushing for like 
um, like drag performances that are or are not sexual in front of kids are affecting like real fucking trans people. Can I talk now? Can you have I you have been you listening? I have. I'm trying to respond, but you're yelling at me that what you're saying is important, so I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Well, it was. So, actually, Katie, what did I just say? Can you tell me that first before you respond? No. <laughs> I figures. Okay. So, I think that it's really interesting, first of all. I'm, I'm glad that you're frustrated by my advocacy. I would like to hear anything that I said about my advocacy that means that I'm doing the things that you're doing. Now, what I do find really interesting is this concept that you guys are talking about us pushing something when entire radicals entire point was that legislation is being passed to stop drag queen story yeah. hour yeah. and yes, what we're doing i'm not done speaking five years so ago. i will continue mm. speaking that's good so it seems like legislation is being passed by these bigoted people as you mentioned that they exist because they are conservative and they're always going to be interested in passing legislation that continues to marginalize the marginalized because that's what they do they are conservatives they want to conserve and go back to how things were so i'm going to finish talking now so because that happens there is legislation and when you guys are saying that we're pushing against it what you mean is we are fighting against legislation that tries to make something that is legal illegal because we don't like it when something that is legal is just being taken away because some people have a disgust response or an over over sexualization response to it and then um lou's point was that us dying on that hill is angering the bear however it's super 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 weird that you guys are framing it like that when the bear is mauling trans people and then when trans people try to exist under being mold you guys are like why are you fighting back you're only making it angrier and yeah that's not gonna work <laughs> yeah so, so well, when when people say why are you fighting back you're only making it angrier they're not talking about trans people who are being denied access to hormones right. they're talking about mm -hmm. people fighting for a fucking drag queen story hour when you but say they, fighting you mean they resist it. a bill yeah like is they want to fight for mean? it because the bill is, is trying to make it illegal, right? <laughs> because why? Why? Why are they trying to make it illegal? How dare you oppose a bill that is why repressive? How dare you oppose a bill? It <laughs> trying to make it illegal because it exists. Yes. <laughs> it didn't yeah. exist okay. before. Yes. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. It's relevant. Obviously, there's not going to be anything prohibiting it if it didn't exist before. Uh, oh, it was okay, just but to be so unacceptable. Obviously, we can't go back in time and make it not exist. Are you like, are we saying like, it should it never exist? I, I don't agree that it should never exist. Like, it's just like, when is the time to allow drag queens to to read books to kids? Like, like I, I guess yeah. is, is what's in this view. And right now is not the time when like anti trans sentiment is like infinitely high. And but so much anti-trans legislation is being passed. Why would you push for this instead of actual like protection? No for one trans is people? pushing. No, none of us, no none one of us is are pushing, pushing for this. Yeah, we're pushing Your against the legislation is so trying to make it illegal. Shitty. That's the problem. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're talking about the present, sure. Yes. And I said, let's look at the past. Let's look at the let's look forward and let's look at the present. Let's look at all three. Do do we understand why this le legislation came to be? Conservatives I think so. hate drag queens. <laughs> well, why, why, why? Okay, why didn't this get pushed True, before? I, 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 you're getting at that the drag queen story hour didn't exist, right? Well, not just that. It's that, like, um, overt LGBT sexuality is something that is, like, very prevalent now. Yeah, because before yeah. it was, it Disgusting was, like, when also, humans exist. Elite, it was, it was also, mm -hmm. like, like uh, in a lot of ways, like, legislatively prohibited historically, Katie, right? I, I wish you would actually, like, respond. I, I can't tell if you're, like, actually fucking retarded or, like, you just can only spout, like... I think, I think responding to you is kind of pointless because you keep cursing at me and being a bitch. So I think I'm done responding Dude, to the you, but I will respond to other people. It's so good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's true. 
I am being a bitch. Um, but that's because you're awesome. just a huge fucking cunt, Katie. I can't. I can't talk to you, and you don't. You don't listen. You literally don't respond to anything that I say to you. Yes, you're being a bitch, so I don't feel like it. Well, I came in here in like a totally neutral sort of um, just wanting to have a conversation. But instead, you just um, spout your talking points that you've repeated three fucking times. Is that when you called me retarded? When you in insulted my English comprehension? When, when was that? It was before that. Okay, cool. So how about when you stop like telling me how I should behave and how I should listen to you and what you're saying is very important, um, I'll address your points, which I well, have. Oh, you haven't addressed it's it because I asked happened. you actually to repeat my point back to me and you couldn't do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yes, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we be done with this lecture now? I mean, I wish you would be done off the fucking internet, Katie. <gasps> okay. Excel Radical, you were talking now. Five dollars. I. A child cannot consent to drag um, queens. I, 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 I was trying to follow the train of logic. I think we were talking about you the the no implication. Of, I'm 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 trying to understand the implication of like. Like, I, I, it feels like you guys are saying that, like, the, the drag queen story hour never should have started because it wasn't the right time for it to start. But the only the problem is that, like, the only way to prevent something like that from coming up be, in it would be like to make it illegal. Like, because like things like that are as as LGBTQ people. Yeah. As these things are more accepted and as like um like, like stuff like that is going to arise. Like, so. OK, I, so here's a question. Yeah. Then. Uh, Coder, do you think that drag queen story hours should be stigmatized because that seems to be the issue is that they're saying hey we're fighting against this like get rid of legislation let's pretend like you know the the people here they're not in favor of legislating against it but they do think it should be stigmatized yeah, and happen are. less Wait, that's a, um, Tom, that's a dumb question because obviously it shouldn't be stigmatized but it's like is yeah. it reasonable that it is stigmatized now Wait, I, I, reason, wait, like, I understand question. Which, I understand that drag like drag has historically been like ha has these sexual connotations. I agree with you on that. Like it makes it's it logically makes sense that people have this stigma. But so like, I, I guess I, I hear you there. But I, I don't know like what what to do about that in terms of like. Okay. Yeah, I want to ask a question about, about this. Right. So the Nick Merckx situation, people should live, leave kids alone. Okay, holy shit, was that a dog whistle or did he say it genuinely? We don't know, do we? Sure. Right? So, taking away his, um, you know, DLC package or whatever, his skins, I don't know what it was. Like, basically trying to start to cancel him for a very reasonable um, request. Hey, guys, leave mm -hmm. kids alone. Oh, but you don't understand that the stigma that we've had for so many years that of the gay community about being pedophiles is the implication of what's going on there. Right. So don't bring your kids there, please, because what you're doing is ignoring the fact that historically homosexuality has been associated to pedophilia, which is ignoring the historical fact that if you put us in this situation, you create a problem for us because we're not asking you to bring your kids around. And if we are, hey, hey, maybe it's not, it's not time yet. Maybe it's well, a repair right issue. Maybe wait, if we wait, hear it's that, not just, hang on, hang on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Maybe if we hear what's, what the other side is thinking, and we actually pay attention to what they're saying, we can gauge the temperature to see if we can push this forward or take it back. Like, yeah, it's kind of cringe. Yeah, may, maybe. Like, that's not something we can we need to talk about right now. Because why would you need to talk about Drag Queen Story Hour? Because representation matters. We already had cartoons that had drag queens and shit. <laughs> okay, but for, first of all, to be clear, first, um, the, the thing, yeah, the thing when, when it's like, why do we have to talk about it now? We've said it over and over again. The reason we have to talk about it now is because right now, it they're, like Republicans are trying to make it illegal. That's why we have to talk about okay, it now. Perfect. Yes, but can you acknowledge that you pushing so hard on it without hearing what the how the other side was feeling about it is what created the situation? When okay. you say pushing, you mean that something existed and it really triggered them, and now they're making legislation against it. That's what you mean by pushing. Did People did things, them? or did you defend it? Like it's the right to blah blah. Did you just say like, hey, cool, that's how you feel about it? Let's, let's maybe take it back. Wait, the, problem is, the problem is, the problem is, this is we're talking about fighting legislation. If I'm against legislation that is taking away freedoms, if we. 
We, part, it is all we've been talking about. It's fine that no. you're not part of this conversation. No, um, no, it's not what we've been talking about. That's the problem. That's what you don't get about this subject. You come here oh thinking that the subject is something, and it's not. And you may, oh my god, all you like, we were never talking about the we're legislation. I already told Coder. Yes, no, no that's right. Wait, that but hold on. Wait, you're saying that you weren't talking, about the, but but yes, talking about the legislation, but yes, they were talking about the legislation. They kept saying, yeah, we're not defending whatever problem, it is that you're talking about. They're saying that we're just pushing back against legislation. We are. We aren't saying we want kids or want sorry drag queens to go to read to kids. We're saying that we want them to have the right to do so and it shouldn't be made illegal that's it that's all they're fighting against yeah but you have to take a step said. back on this yeah. and say how do we why are there? they pushing for this legislation because they don't like because they're bigots and they hate gay people right people okay. are visible but does it matter yeah, if obviously. like if it does if you don't think it should be illegal if it is a fundamental right if it is like freedom of association right, freedom please. of speech then like why would they why why would they not fight back against it and and also like part of the context is that this is like a all a voluntary thing right so like parents are volunteering to bring their kids to these things and like their parents are often organizing these things and like setting it up to bring their kids okay. to like i don't great what? point great point thank you great yeah. point Great, great point. We need to educate these people that there is a stigma around people that have certain ideas regarding gender expression and little kids, and that if yeah. they don't, if they aren't careful about those visuals, they will hurt us. That's the education that needs to happen. We need to educate both sides because these well, sides, I, this wait, side. Wait, wait, you just, you just oh, made a point, and I, I, think, I think I agree with what you're saying. I think I agree with what you're saying that like we need, like people should be conscious of this, but, I, but. I, to be fair, I think a lot of them are conscious of it, and part of what they're trying to do is normalize like stuff like like this. Like they're they're trying to they're oh. they're pushing back in that way. Like so so you're, it's so, kind of too. Yeah, go ahead. So so their 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 feelings about this this is right. This is the right thing to fight about. It's more important than the actual rights of the people that they're fighting for. Is that it? Wait, what? what Wait. Say say that again. They want to fight for a cause so bad because they want to destigmatize it that they don't take into consideration the historical fact of how the other side perceives this. So they don't even care about our rights. They just want to Wait, fight for the right. Wouldn't, to wouldn't, wouldn't normalizing it? I mean, like in like to a lot of people, like seeing that happening in a non-sexual manner, having drag queen story hour that's not sexualized, people seeing that is going to open people's eyes to the idea that this could be a thing that's not sexual. That people are just yeah. wearing dresses, just people, just uh, yeah, men wearing it, it dresses. Didn't, it didn't do that though. It actually closed people's minds. So what do well, we do I, now? I, I, well, I, I don't. I don't necessarily agree that it closed people's minds. I'm not sure. I'm, no, I'm yeah, not sure yeah, if this is yeah, a, yeah. an issue that's actually changing people's positions on like whether or not like. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold that this is like this is like uh, a pivotal issue in that way. Um, so, hold on. So you're not taking accountability for the fact that pushing that created this blowback, right? Created it in that, like it was being legislated against because it didn't exist. Like I, I agree with you that like 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 they couldn't have legislated against it if it hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this so is like saying, like, not, guns being uh, real is what makes guns against legislation happen. Or, I'm sorry, legislation yeah, against guns happen. That's what I'm saying. Why aren't we educating these woke people that are, they are really want to fight for a cause so bad to be like, hey, guys, we really appreciate what you're doing. You're showing us, the, this community, that you accept us. And that's fine. And we appreciate it. That's cool. But that community, once you get your kids, kids close to us, are going to think something bad. They're going to think that we're doing that to them when it's you guys trying to show how progressive you are that's actually taking away our rights. Okay, so you're saying, like, so the people, so you're, you're saying the woke people are pushing for it or who are making it happen. Like, but a lot, of the, a lot of these people are also going to be, like, LGBTQ people already. Who, and so they, like, I, I, think, I, I think all these people are aware of these kinds of stigmas. This is my point, right? Like, I don't think that they're, we need, like we say, we need to educate them on, like, I don't think we could have, like, guaranteed that, like, if drag, like, when, when people were setting up the first, like, drag queen story or whatever, like, I don't think we, we knew, like, right then, like, oh, if you do this, then in a couple of years, there's going to be legislation that's making it illegal. Like, uh, correct, correct, correct. We couldn't have known that. Perfect. Well said. In a couple of years. So maybe if we had kept our finger on the pulse 
our ears to the ground, and we started hearing that good old pedophilia is coming back because look at them, they're trying to groom the kids, and this time it's actually being effective because last time when they said it, they were saying they're trying to indoctrinate our children, but the word indoctrinate was too complicated for them to actually understand what it was, but grooming, grooming is something bad. So actually, it's stuck this time. Fuck. So maybe we need to it's take a step back and hey, 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 hey. I, no, I just didn't, think this sentiment's ever went away. That's that's my yeah. That's right. That's right. What did we do last time when they were saying indoctrination? We educated them and we showed them that we're not a threat. Yes, but and, and time, so, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, if there's drag queen story hour that's not sexualized, that is also demonstrating that this can exist without it being sexualized, right? But this time the groomer narrative stuck. Last well, okay, time the indoctrination like... narrative didn't stick. Because we took the time to educate them on, uh, on us. We took the time to show them who we are. This time you're like, no, you're gonna accept it. Because it's our right. Yes. Remember, if you push too hard and people perceive homosexuals and children as pedophilia and grooming, and this time it sounds like I can hear that this time it's becoming believable, maybe we need to not push this really stupid niche issue because it's actually going to take away more rights for us because we're basically confirming their worst fears. Well, well okay, so well, more, to get to a more practical example of what you're referring to then, what is something that you think like should right now, something that could pop up any minute now that like we should stop at the, we should cut off at the head. Like we should prevent well, um, like any of these people no, from advocating for. No. I can, okay, I can I'm sorry, give you I'm understanding the, the, the problem, but I, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess it's no. Here, let, no, me, I'm not, let, me, let me try this. Okay, so let's say that women still didn't have the right to vote. Okay, and that's something no, no, that. I, okay. Please sorry, just let me finish. No, please, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. You're so right. let's say women still didn't have the right to vote. Okay, and that's something that women were fighting for. Um, and alongside that issue, there were um a bunch of like parties with women like going crazy, drinking, having sex. You know, at what all of the things that like our friend did, right? Uh, having abortions, of course, of course, add that in there. Um, and the people who were uncomfortable with giving women the right to vote were also uncomfortable with the parties. Z King super but chatted five dollars. The spicy panel, collective pepper, of people who fire, wanted w women to Tom have the right Foolery to vote show. were also pushing for these big parties. And this was something that was like um, very important. And it kept happening, and like um, everybody kept getting more and more uncomfortable. Do you see how these things should be detached? And maybe these parties should be pushed off to the side until the more important things happen? Push, okay, so I agree that they should be like separated, right? I, I think, I mean, although there are like, there are but, but, like intersections, but-, they're, but, but they're not ahead. because people who support women having the right to vote are supporting these parties. So just, if I can, because I think I think a, an example that's maybe even closer would would be like the, the situation you're describing, but also people advocating that not just white women but black women as well should get to vote. Like that's okay, all, it that would be. Matter. Can you just well, like? Okay. Well, I'm I'm asking. Like, do you think, do you think that would be? Do, oh, well, I'm asking if you think that would still be a good example. Like, um, I, I don't understand why should, like, like, it's case, important people, to clarify. Like, it is important because I'm asking if you're if you're saying that people should back off of that one should have backed off of that one in that case. But that's not the same thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Then I, it feels like because the same, because. But. Well, because in this case, like the what is happening with Drag Queen Story Hour is like only it's not something that is um like a uh how do I say this? It's not something that's like it is a totally disconnected, right? But uh -huh. the people who are pushing for one thing are pushing for the other as well. So there's no there's no disconnect between like pushing for the white woman and the black woman vote. Well, there 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 was. Wait, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm I think I'm I'm losing the I'm losing track. So here. But, yeah, women having the right to vote and women having a parties where they like have fun and get abortions and drink and have sex are two mm -hmm. totally different things. They just yeah, but, but, okay, to, so this is, yeah, to have yeah, right. a group of people in common. Yeah. So, so my, the reason that I, I, I brought up the other example is because, like, I think that, like, people, like, by, uh, like, men in dresses 
or like people with one biological sex in wearing certain clothes and reading around children. That is also something that like, I, I think that's also like, uh, I don't think that's as separable from the, the issues that are being pushed for or the, the, well, the things that are being pushed against. Yeah. And the issue being that is for. being pushed right. for is the right for trans people to receive gender affirming care. I mean, care. That's, it's not just that there, there's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't agree with that, that that's all it's being pushed against. Well, no, because it's more is being more. pushed for. <laughs> okay. And so the other stuff shouldn't, what, so what are we supposed to do when they, when they try to stop the other stuff? So what are you supposed to do when they're trying Let to stop them. the abortion parties? Yeah. What should we do? You should fight for women to have the right to vote. Okay. Well, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not fighting for the right, the like trans people to have uh, access to healthcare. I'm, I'm just saying that this legislation stopping the, the drag queen story hour also shouldn't happen. It shouldn't, but it is now. Uh, I, and that's cool. being used I, to push I, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and which one is a better cause to fight for? The a better cause care. to fight for. You can do yes, both. What yes. is the... Voting, voting, against, voting against the people who are pushing for, to ban Drag Queen Story Hour is the same as voting against the people who would ban healthcare for trans people. They're the same people. They're the same. True. So, yeah. Okay. They're the same people. But let's say people were not fighting against women having the right to vote until these parties started happening. So what do we do then? We. Like, should we just like not doing. mention the like? This is my problem. Like, yeah, I can't. What I can't, do you do? Because yeah, because yeah. if you keep having these parties, then pe women are not going to get the fucking right to vote. I have a question. Uh, okay. So, if if me and Radical give up on if we we take the drags, we put them out. No more reading books to kids. Okay, are we then saying that like there will be no more legislation to take away health care from trans people? Is that the argument? Because it can't be the argument. It's a dumb argument. This is what I don't understand. Because like, <laughs> like <laughs> well, I, I don't I don't actually understand what's being asked. It's actually, honestly, it's, it's actually doing. Do you know how legislation is actually that actually gets done? How it actually gets passed? You need both sides. Yeah, I mean, generally. What yeah. is that? Okay. Okay. So, what are you gonna do? Keep pushing, pushing, pushing on the really not that important stuff when the really important stuff is right in front of you. Let's push no for all of it at the same time. Yeah, no you one is push, pushing. Forward, you educate. Part of the problem is that the legislation, even if I agreed that like we, we should take the L on the drag queen story hour thing, like then go. like the, the legislation about that does not just affect drag queens. It doesn't just affect kid. Like it would exactly. also affect trans people. Exactly. exactly. So fight for what we can get in the bill. Let's eliminate the other stuff. And if it, like you have to be 18 to be at a drag show, fine, whatever. You have to be 18 when you're at a drag show, but don't take away the rest of the stuff. Because you're you're educating, not ideologically. Like we have to have it all or nothing. Because you never win when you want to have it all or nothing. Wait, drag. No one this is part of what I'm saying is that drag. I don't even think drag is like mentioned in these bills, right? So like when right. you say like a limit it, limit it to 18, like this this would also make it would like the way this stuff is being weaponized is that it would also target trans people just being around children. So if you limit it to 18, right. this is the whole problem. Right. Okay, you're right. looking at yeah. what is happening after the fact instead of what is yes. causing this legislation. Right now. Exactly. Yeah, but we, but we. I, 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 can, I actually, you know what? I'm things. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I know. I'm like. I, I agree with you that there are probably things that can make it harder. Like, but I, I just don't know. Like, it, this is why I asked for like an example of something that could come up now. Like something that might come up that I could push against as it's emerging. Like, because I don't know like what practical utility this this conversation has otherwise. We're not. We're not saying that. Give up on the bill. Don't give up on the bill. Give up on okay. things. <laughs> you make small concessions so they feel a little more comfortable, but make sure you get the like big fish. Like what? Like they gender affirming not, care. Not no, 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 care. I, understand. no okay. I know what the big things. I'm saying, like, what little things do you think are, like, what kinds of little things besides just Drag Queen Story are, are going to come up around this? Like, and like, gay books in schools like dumb shit like that we should like like so we shouldn't like what should we do about that we should we should not put the books in there we should ban the books like I, this, focus this on is what's important discussion. this is what politics is you focus <laughs> yeah. on what's fucking important what takes away the most rights from the most people is the internet not a thing 
I, I guess I just don't see local library. Yeah, you don't have to I, get sh this shit in schools. It doesn't fucking matter. None of that matters. It's all just like id poll shit. It doesn't matter. What matters is making sure that people get the care that they need. Well, Republicans are pushing on the culture war because they don't have a better platform because we give them the ammo to push on the culture war. If they were just rambling idiots creating a boogeyman that doesn't exist, then it'd be fine. We'd just laugh at them like, ha, you oh, they are too clear. To clear they are warning about something that's not happening, exist. please. The boogeyman okay. does not exist. Oh, fucking hell, you dumbass. You don't hear like, what I'm I, saying. I, I, these are the, the, the things that they're hinging on to are things like these, like gay books in schools or whatever. But like, again, the implication is that like, inst like we shouldn't let the books get in there in the first place. No, the implication okay. is that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're telling me to do. I have no clue. I'm, I'm Holy throwing my hands in the air. Maybe listen for a change. I, I really am. I really am trying. I promise. Okay, good. You have to learn how to play politics. You can't have it all. If you want it to have it, if you want to have it all, oh, you're gonna oh, take it away. Okay. But, 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 all right. You're, you're, you're not giving me. Okay. You don't give a fuck about gay people. That's cute. That's, that's cute that you think that. Okay. That's fine. No, that you that's think. what you're saying, <laughs> idiot. That's what you're saying. It's, it's not, like I, you, you haven't. You, you're not giving me anything to actually engage with, other than saying that these things are less important than other things. But I, I'm saying I don't see. I, I, I don't know. Like, should I just if not talk about want, books in schools? If you want to take the whole cake, what, what do you want from me? Going to, if you want to take the whole cake, they're going to take it away from you. So prioritize. I, I agree that awesome. some things are more important than others. But, I, but, I want to go back to to the question that I asked you a long time ago. So, like, if I'm if I don't have your beautiful brain, how can I tell in my advocacy what stuff are important and what stuff aren't important? Because you're not giving me anything to work with. It just feels like, like a vibe to what, whatever what changes you feel like. Perfect, 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 perfect. No, I'll give you the thing. Awesome. Please do. You use your brain. You use your brain. You look at the okay. things. Okay. You analyze them. You hear the other side. That's how you decide what's important. For Katie, by the way. Uh, no, this is really stupid. Look, just listen to how she's fucking laughing. You don't understand how, what, how politics works. It's not about your temper tantrum. It's not about what you want. It's about what we all want. And you Yeah, do you know we all way, want different you things? You advocating this way is what takes away rights from trans people. Because you got us here. Okay, no, it's fine. You're we're deciding the, no, what we're rights the, you're comfortable oh, you giving up idiot. and what rights you're not. That's what's taking rights. You get to decide no, you based on idiot. your brain no, you what takes idiot. rights no, away. No, you fucking moron. You can be you're not listening a weird to what the other freak side and curse at me. I you don't can, care. It's really be pathetic. It doesn't help. Be whatever it doesn't it doesn't make a point, and, and it doesn't make a really point pathetic. either, because you don't hear anything, it's because really you've been pathetic. an idiot. It's really pathetic. Problem, uh, it's really pathetic. Really pathetic. Really pathetic. No, you are I'm pathetic. actually You are. Yes. I understand. Can you, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Can you make a point? Can you make a point? Okay. Can you make make educate a point? yourself about what the issues are? Educate yourself about what the history is? No, no, no. You're talking about education. You educate me. You do it. Okay. I'm saying yeah. it right now. I'm already t telling you. Our conservatives okay, telling not me to caring. use my brain. Oh, telling me to use my brain if I'm let stupid, me, let me go ahead and set up why I answer the question you asked. Okay, okay. he's answering the question. Go ahead, Lou. Okay, thank you. That's what I'm here for. I keep telling you. For years, for centuries, basically, forever, we've been stigmatized as pedophiles. So, for us to really make headway, People like you can't be like, yeah, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with it. No, we know that there's nothing wrong with it, but they're looking at it as something negative. We need to hold on a little bit because if we push for it right now, you don't understand that optics hurt us. We are a vulnerable group. You can't ask us, fight all the way to death on Drag Queen Story Hour? No. It I was never first asked and you to do any of that. Can you please? Tell me a line to how I'm supposed to identify what's important and not what's not important. Idea fucking logically, except for use your brain. Yeah. Have any framework. How about you understand the history of issues? What what what's been taken away? Don't you think that it would have been better to fight for the right of of ensuring pro life? I mean pro choice. They took away Roe v. Wade. I think that there could have been a focus there, right? Okay. It could have been a fight think... there. It could have been. And what happened? Where well, they took away the rights to abortion? What happened in the U.S.? What? 
what do you think that I advocate that I, for? Do you think I'm, you I wanted think I'm, them I, to take Roe v. Wade? What is your argument? Do you think me wanting Roe v. Wade to not be overturned has Katie? anything to do? Let me fucking talk. Has anything to do with me thinking that legislation against people reading books to children is... Do you think those things are not compatible? Do you think they collide in any way? Do I? Katie, can I ask you something? No. Okay, so Excuse me. <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna know if you understand what he's saying. So can you just give his argument as you see it? Are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, I said no. I, I think I think that what's what Lou's saying is that there are political issues that are going to be more important than other political issues. And there are going to be uh, concessions that have to be made to pass legislation at times. And I agree with all of those things. Yes. So like, we, we should have to like pick our battles and stuff. Like I, 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 I can agree with all of that. Um, but then when there, when there's legislation passing, that's just specifically saying like, or that's just specifically targeted at this, this drag queen story hour thing. Like, I, I don't, I don't know how to stop uh, like cultural phenomena like drag queen story hour from emerging like I, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to stop something like that. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I. I, 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 I also, I'm not, I'm it not, didn't keep fucking answer the question. No, but it didn't answer the question. No, if we gave up drag story hour, I want you to give a drag, man version we, of this argument. If we gave up drag story hour, that's not going to give it? affirmative care to you do it? children. Katie, please. Did I? Talk It'll be easy, to you? right? Just give it. Give a steel man version. Well, Katie, Did your your you? question was in response to I what Lou said, but you. what you said, uh, what you were responding to was not what Lou was actually saying, and so it yes. it seems a little bit pointless Lou? to respond to your question when your question was in response to his question, but you up. didn't actually respond to. Then, it. Okay, you, I, you I should have every to, conversation was, because you do this in well, every single you conversation that you have. You argue up. against so nobody. You're tilting at windmills the whole time. Okay. That's great. So, Tom, uh, I was trying yeah, I don't to think move it's great, on and because I, that, I'm it's going... Really, it's actually really frustrating. Oh, you keep Anytime talking over me. That's Elena. really good. I'm so happy well, that you're you here literally to talk never over me every time I talk. This is so great. Anyway, so it's fine if Radical and Lou want to keep talking about how Radical is going to say that we're just trying to fight against, like, a legislation that has been passed, and then Lou is going to say, but what's going to cause that? <laughs> and then we're going to talk about, like... Um, proper political action and how we should pick our battles and how we should be effective politically. That's all good and great. It doesn't lead us anywhere because Lou has yet to demonstrate how we're supposed to, what framework we're supposed to be using so everyone except for Lou could use this logistic way of handling politics in how they choose what battles to pick. Wait, and well, he's Katie, not that's actually a that great framework. question. Can you well, answer that great. question for your Thank own you. side? So, so because he has not given that framework and I've asked him that three times and he's not answering it because he doesn't have an answer except for use your I brain. Have an answer. It's quite yeah. different. So, so can then you answer, answer that for your own side? Then fucking answer. Yeah, go ahead and answer, Lou. <laughs> Dude, we've talked. We've said this exact same thing a billion times, but Katie is literally not listening. So I want her to say her answer to her own question, Lou, or I'd love to, to hear your our answer. argument in a okay. steel man. I would love to hear your either answer. one, Katie. Those are your two fucking options. Lou, I'd love to hear <laughs> your answer. I'm trying to pass to see what mistakes were done, how people fought, and fight for the future. That's what you need to do. You need to actually be woke and understand how the world works for actually, to actually be effective. What's that moral framework? Look to the past. What has happened in the past? What has been the blowback to certain actions? Okay, so in the past, we were cons we were part of the genocide that your people was a part are part of too, and it started there. So we've been recovering, little by little. We weren't the problem there either, right? We were just the boogeyman because racist people will justify their racist actions anyway, right? Perfect. They were complete victims. Perfect. Correct. Now, afterwards, they started associating us with little kids, with pedophiles. What did we have to do? 
We'd have to stay the fuck away from, from schools. We had to stay the fuck away. We had to stop being invisible for a second so we can build up and change the culture little by little. You'd make small concessions. You don't take the whole pie or else the pie listen, is not going to be uh, parted for everyone. It's not Do you be think most gay everyone. people would agree with that, that though, Lou? Do you think most gay people would say, like, it was good that we all had to step away from kids in schools so that we could get progress or do you think they would say like no we shouldn't have done that we shouldn't have had to do that and we should have fought to um to continue having our presence so that we could have progress faster wait those are that's two different things that you just answered though so like obviously nobody thinks that that's good but i think that most people would agree that it's something that was necessary at the time well that's what i'm talking about pragmatically like do you think that they would say like we should have to do this or that we like if we could go back we would we would do the same thing because i don't know that most gay people actually view it that way i think that they see it as like you they continued having like pride parades they continued remaining around children they continued being in public and that these things actually helped instead of them actually no. disappearing like you're making it sound no, like Tom. they did the opposite agree, and that's what got that's them not what happened that's not what happened do you guys know the history of, of lgbt rights or no yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is the what capital? Is that? What is that? What are, do you have something to say? Do Why you is that funny? hear something? I hear something. Uh, okay. I don't know what it is. Is, is she just uh, she's just gonna ignore me when I when I talk? Because I'm in a call know. as well. I don't think it's, it's acceptable. It's like a to just buzzing sound. It's really weird. It's right. like annoying I and think whiny and stop being a bitchy. You're, you're acting like a fucking five year old. It's uh, please grow really, up. Can it's you hear that? It's so weird. I think weird. this conversation has run its course. Yeah. <laughs> I before, appreciate. Before we stop, before we stop, can you tell okay. me the history of LGBT issues? That is such a broad question. There's no way anybody could ever answer that. There really isn't. How did it start? We know Could that we were part of the Holocaust, with people right? being gay. Yeah. Can you stop bring yeah. bringing up the Holocaust in relation to me? It's so weird. Excuse me. It, are it, Jewish people weird. the only ones that were victims? No. We're the only I victims didn't say of the that. Holocaust. Okay. So did, why the fuck do you, you think I'm talking about that? you? Why the fuck because do you think you I'm talking about you? It a bunch why the of fuck do you think me? I'm talking about you, you idiot? I'm talking okay, about LGBT you people. Brought it up a bunch yeah, of because times. you're a fucking idiot because you look for microaggressions because you think you're a victim. I'm I don't talking look about for you. microaggressions. About it's issues. really I'm weird that you're projecting LGBT a lot of people. shit on me. I don't know what you're yelling or what's yelling. wrong with you right well, now. Maybe it's because next time you really can ask that your you shouldn't talk about World War II because That's we were so actual mature. victims of World War II as well. So That's next great. time, please don't assume that I'm talking about you because not everything is about you, Katie. Okay, not everything this is, is about me. That yeah, is we're, this is, we're, we're not getting anywhere with yeah, this. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. I appreciate everybody Thanks. jumping on. This is a good, good conversation. Bye, Tom. Bye. Bye, bye. Thanks for having. Thanks for having us on to hash this out. Um, yes, we fixed it. Yeah, finally. I think no, we fixed it. It's nope. Do you, you want to give a, a closing, bye. Lou? Bye. Mm, not specifically. We did make head headway. To be honest, we did make headway. I am annoyed at Katie because it's the whole, say whole we ideology. It. Like, not that, not that. But it's not that. I do feel like, like we did make concessions where they were needed, and you kind of understand understood my point. We are already here. Correct. We're already here. We have to fight it because they're getting we're getting threatened. But we don't mm -hmm. have to die on every hill. We have to look back and say like, okay, this legislation appeared because they're conservative and they're evil. No, 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 no. This happened because. I think we pushed a little too hard because we're looking back at every time we've hit a roadblock. We fight for something and we can see it on others. That's the point. Now we're at this point again. Let's try that next time that they try to come for our rights again. We're not the ones giving them the ammo to for, for, um, for the groomer narrative to stick. Let's make sure we're not giving them the ammo for gay rights to be trending down, gay acceptance to be trending down. We, we need to stop giving them the ammo because that's what's hurting us as well. We have to care about yeah. the issues. We have to look at the history of the issues and we have to fight the right way. It's not always, okay, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. We agree that there's something wrong with it, but perception, optics is key. Okay, yeah, and I see, I see where you're coming from with that. I, I just, I, I'm still, 
not convinced that there's like a like when you say when you talk about uh, and I know we're we're gonna be looping after, maybe after I say this and it's it's over but um like when you say these are to closing look at the past statements and, why no, why is there I, looping I, I, I there's there should okay. not there's be no looping, any no, looping only okay, closing statements okay okay then when I then when, fair enough it's over I'm sorry let me damn it Tom um so fuck me okay I I I still. <laughs> And I would say when you talk about educating people to understand like what things emerged in the past, I, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that looks like still. That's been a frustration throughout this. Um, the, I, I like the understanding that like, like what, like there, there's always going to be, I think, um, like instances of, and, and things that happen like where LGBTQ people are involved. And then those things are going to be shoved up to the front of the discourse by, uh, conservatives who want to push the, push all of it back down. Um, and, and I, I there, there probably are are some ways to evaluate um which are which things are are more like more or less likely to do that um but i'm not i'm not sure that there's even uh I, i'm not sure that there's a way to actually stop that from happening in any meaningful way um so i i i, I understand the sentiment i just i just don't i don't know how practical it is um i do think people should keep in mind that like uh people should be empathetic and understand that like conservatives aren't all evil even if uh, oftentimes it, it feels like that um when they're doing things like what they do so often um and we should understand the things that trigger them into doing those things um but uh i i i, I still don't know how how practical uh engaging with that is but but i i, I understand where you're coming from all so, right thanks, thanks appreciate again, it guys it's just, it's just a phrase if we forget the past, we are doomed to make the same mistakes over and over. I agree, over especially if we're, you're Ron DeSantis banning people from learning about black history, then anyway, so yeah. But uh, let's let's uh, let's end it. All right, bye, guys. Love you. All right, bye. Bye, Tom. Bye. You. Love you. Bye-bye.